Yay! I hope this is all working. Oh, it is. Good. <laughs> Good evening. Howdy, Snurd. Welcome. Let me turn this music down. <laughs> it's so loud. So, yes, I got a new outfit. And I have done some work on this uh, virtual avatar. You will notice that um, not only does she have a new outfit, but she has lips and a nose. And yeah, I had to change the eye color. I can't use green um, because, you know, the green screen thing. And I tried using a blue screen and other colors and it just didn't work as well. Um, there's a reason that they use green screen because... Um, blues and reds and magentas are very common in other items that you would have on your character you know like clothing and things so um, it just works better to be able to use green screen so I made her with blue eyes which you know is whatever <laughs> um, I guess I don't feel terrible about having blue eyes they look okay and I fixed her ears to be more like my character's ears. They're really close now. They look very similar. You got hit by an ad. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm not sure why. Um, you got three. Uh, let me go and check my thing. I thought I turned it off so it was just pre. So there would only be like pre-roll ads, but I'll have to check the stream settings. Um. I think I changed it the other day when I was, uh, when I was running reruns <laughs> so that there would be ads every once in a while during the reruns. So yeah, I changed her eye color a little bit, um, made it a little brighter. I fixed her ears. I gave her lips and actually, um, some shading on her nose. Uh, so that, you know, because her nose would just disappear into her face and it looked like she didn't even have one. Um, and it's just the way the Vroid models are and you kind of have to do some some work <laughs> on them to get it to actually have a nose that shows up. Um, and I'm using the better face camera uh, that's better at tracking, uh, like it tracks your eye movements like I can look around and her eyes go all over the place and it's better at tracking your mouth. Um, so it looks better. It looks better. And uh, I think she looks better with some lips too. Because now you can actually kind of see her mouth. <laughs> but it was fun. I played around with it today while I was in class. Because class is boring. But playing around with uh, my Vroid avatar is fun. All right. So what I'm going to do tonight is the, f the first thing I'm going to do is um, I want to look at some. Uh, I want to look at housingsnap.com. We're going to look at some housing snap highlights. And, and then I'm going to show you. Uh, oh, actually, first, you know what? First, I'll show you my Christmas tree, actually, because I kept promising that I was going to show people my Christmas tree. So I'm going to show you my Christmas tree in my house, my actual Christmas tree. So I got to set this up, though. Let me, let me fix this so that we can watch this. All right. I'm just going to put this over here. And switch this screen, and you should be able to see. Yeah, there it is. Okay. And I want to turn off this music. For the moment. So, uh, oh wait, that's, I can't do that. I can't just mute this. I have to turn it off in the game. Durr. Watch me derp it up for a while here, for a moment, while I go through the things to do this right. There. Can't have all this music covering everything up. Uh, here it is. So, I made um, Final Fantasy themed 
Christmas ornaments for my tree. I made, they're needle felted. And if you've never seen anyone do needle felting, it's basically you take balls of wool and you stab it <laughs> until um, you get what you want out of it because you can sculpt with it. It's little needles with barbs on it that um, will cause the wool fibers to tangle up. And so you can sculpt it into shape. And so this is the Christmas tree. I'm show you the needle felted ornaments that I made. That is the otter otter, and he's got his little lantern, and he's got the little hat on and everything. Um, just a little, you know, he's just a cute little needle felted guy. Basically, it's wool that you stab <laughs> with a little needle that has barbs on it so that it tangles up the wool fibers, and you can sculpt with it. So I made him a few years ago. Let's see, where's another one? Here is Cactuar, which is pretty cute. I like that one. Here's a little pumpkin that I made. It's kind of falling down. There's a little pumpkin. It's a cute little pumpkin. Here is the Dodo. So these are all modeled after Final Fantasy minions. So they're pretty simplistic. But there's the derpy dodo, the one that follows me around everywhere I go in game. There's the dodo. <laughs> Super cute. And let's see, where is another one? Oh, here we go. Here is the baby bun. That's the baby bun minion, which is also very cute. There is the... That's the the little um, chunky chocobo chick. Uh, the heavy hatchling, I believe it's called. So that's the heavy hatchling. And then I have some others. I'm trying to figure out where they all are. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. Here is the cherry bomb. I'm trying to get it to focus. There's the cherry bomb. And then I just have this little happy, you know, little um, little happy egg. And down here there is a little tea cup. It's like a coffee cup with a little steam coming off of it. And a little plate with a, an Ishgardian muffin and a pat of butter. And all of these snowflakes that are on this tree, I crocheted. I crocheted them all. So there's a lot of them. And they're basically crocheted with uh, wool. And they're start it's humid here, so they've kind of gotten a little bit floppy. And I'm not sure what to do about that. Um, but, yeah, I crocheted all of these snowflakes that are all over the tree. There's a little, there's a little bird up there. Little hunting bird there. And I put some pink and red flowers in and these little rose gold vine things. And I've got little checkered bows. And there's my 2020 dumpster fire ornament. I should get one for 2021 too. <laughs> I suspect I could probably find one. Um, but yeah. I mean, I think it came out cute this year. I'm happy with it. Just wish that the snowflakes weren't getting so floppy because some of them are really quite spectacular, but it's just kind of hanging weird. So I'm going to have to figure out a way to reinforce them. But there's a little butterfly down there, and there's another snowflake there. There's these, there's some different ones. There's one that's a little different. That one's a little different. There's a number of these on, and they're like, kind of like layered, um, and they came out really pretty. But that's the tree. Let's see if I can get it a better view of the tree without cutting off part of it. Yes, yeah, so there you go. There's the tree. Merry Christmas. 
Oh, and if you look next to the door, next to it, on the door next to it, don't look at our pile of computer parts that we need to do something with. <laughs> that is felted. Um, it's I, I actually needle felted the design onto a piece of black felt. And when I met my husband in person for the first time, I hung this on my car uh, <laughs> as I went to pick him up from the from the airport. <laughs> so that he would be able to find the right car because <laughs> I'm a total nerd but we did meet in Final Fantasy so there you go that's the stuff that's the Christmas decorations for now and if I change anything I'll let you know but I think it's all pretty cute pretty cute I'm happy with it so I hope that you're having a good day and Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, Happy Hanukkah, whatever it is that you celebrate. I hope that you are having a joyous season. That is my homemade Christmas tree. I made like I made like everything on there except for, you know, I mean, I've got some silk flowers and stuff and I bought the dumpster fire ornament. <laughs> But I'm sure I could probably make a dumpster fire ornament and maybe I will um, for this year because obviously we need one for 2021 as well. Okay, so actually the next thing I want to do is I want to look at Housing Snap. So we're going to look at Housing Snap because there are some new things um, that people have put up on Housing Snap. Um, let me go back to that. Uh, this one. Yeah, here we are. Housing snap. Um, so they've put a number of new items into the game. Um, and I expect that we'll start seeing them out in the world when we go looking at houses really soon. Like, um, this is one thing that they put in. These are new housing walls. So this is, you know, the actual exterior wall that they've, that's new. Um, I haven't seen it yet out there. Uh, I'm hoping that I will soon because I think it's really cool. Uh, and I believe it's the cafe wall. So if you look over on the right side of this picture, oops, oh, they do have more pictures. There is, okay, so here's out front. There's this little counter where you can just, you know, stick your retainer. Um, and it has lots of items that are part of the walls, which makes it really awesome. Um, so there's that part of it. And I think that on the side, yep, there you go. Here's a good picture. On the side, there's little tables and chairs and everything set up already. So you don't have to do that with extra items in your yard, which means you can use other stuff. I mean, you can like do more to decorate your yard because you get so much already with these walls. And that's really pretty. I think it's super cool. And I am so excited about this. And I will be making this um, as soon as... <laughs> I get whatever is going on the um, in the company workshop off. I'll start building a set of cottage walls like this for my house because that is just too cute. I really love it. They're really nice, really nice item that they put in. That's 6.0 stuff. Um, yeah, I'm I'm super stoked about that. So let's see. Um, you know, I've been looking through here and I've seen only a few things where they have used some of the new items. Here's one. Here's one of them. Uh, this ornament on the wall, that's a new item that's been put in. Um, I have not made this yet. I have one in real life that <laughs> right now is kind of hanging on the foosball table. I need to get um, I need to get some batteries for it and then I can set it up. But I think it's a super cute little item to use for a kid's bedroom or to use it, you know, for your Christmas decor, your holiday decor. Uh, I'm really looking forward to being able to get that one. And this is a, just a really cute little house to look at in general. Really nicely done stuff here. There's some another new item is these pendant lamps that are hanging over here. Little pendant lights. That's another new item they put in. I really like those. They look nice. They look cool. Uh, let's see if they've used any of the other new items anywhere. Yes, look. Oh, look. I love it. They've used the round lofts to make a set of stairs. And that is so much easier to do than 
floating objects up from the basement to make a set of stairs that you like. Uh, that looks awesome. That looks really cute. Good job. Really nice. So there we go. There's some of the new items having uh, being used in a fancy decorated house. And I want to say that they might have used the new partitions here too. Um, this is the new, there's a new partition that they put in that has little nooks built into them already. And so it looks like they've used two of them here. One side of the shelf, uh, one side of the partition has three little shelves like this, one on top of the other. And if you turn it the other way, it has three uh, ran like kind of randomly placed um, nooks in the partition. So you can use either side to get a different effect. I'm really glad they did this because people had, I mean, in order to get something that looked like this, you would have to use like, you know, six items uh, out of your housing item budget to uh, get that look. But now you only need to use one. Uh, that's amazing. That really, that will really help that. And it also makes that kind of design um, accessible to people. And this is why I like Square Enix because they saw people doing this stuff. I mean, I'm sure that they probably look at this website <laughs> to see what the super nerds are doing uh, with their housing. And, uh, and, and they take a cue from what they see and what they see people really like and people trying to, to emulate. And they actually give us items that, uh, that approximate that look so that we can have more fun with it and to make that kind of design uh more accessible they they just you know they try to give us what we like what we want let's take a look here at this little cute house this is a super cute room i really like this um i believe that they just used a mummer's wardrobe back here and then they put something here uh, i think that's just the edge of two square windows to make the sliding door of the closet and uh, this is a blank partition with, you know, I'm going to say they probably floated some rectangular partitions, you know, one up and one down here to do that. Although maybe, maybe not. There might be a way to do that. I'd have to play around for a bit to figure that out. Here they built a window. I believe this is probably a fish tank set back in the wall and then they have a window on top of it and the fish tank is kind of like pushed up enough um, that the glass of the fish tank comes in front of the window glass and that way you see what's in the fish tank instead but that looks really nice really nice very cute uh, this is probably the mounted bookshelf and they did the same thing here to make a sliding door like they did on the other side feather bed uh, hanging sideboards or some other that might even be just you know the oasis stall there but what a cute little room super cute and here's the nice little kitchen they just use the southern kitchen uh, they use some shelves here with um, the bisque uh, interior wall placed on a blank partition and then pushed up to the back to make the back of the cabinet which looks really cute I'm still trying to figure out what this thing here is this uh, I'm not sure what that item is, but it's something. <laughs> it's some item that is back in the wall. And the next time I see this, I'm going to push through the wall so that I can figure out what that item is. Um, because that's what people are now using to make their, uh, their spigot for their sink. So they made a sink out of some items here. And that is the spigot. And I'm not sure what they've used there but I'll figure it out because I saw one the other day so the next time I see that I'm definitely gonna go and um, and check it out here's their little dining room oh and it's so cute look they've got the Lakeland chairs and table which are just really nice I love that they use these blank Riviera partitions you know, those are just a blank wall. It could be a blank Hingen partition. It's the same. They look the same. It just like looks like whitewashed wood. Um, and boy, this room just looks really cute. Just looks really cute. Loaded up a Glade cabinet to get this uh, little effect. That looks like, you know, uh, some crown molding with a little, some little ornate uh, woodwork on it. And the same here. 
and here got a potted oliphant's ear which is just a really nice plant in general they got the ends of the dish racks here to have these plates on the wall let's take a look at this one. Oh, this is just another picture of the bedroom. Uh, I love that they did this. They like made French doors out of the large square windows. And I am not sure what item they used to do the handles. Uh, I'm not sure. I would have to, I would have to look at some items. It's probably a tabletop item that they used to do that. Uh, I would have to look at a bunch of tabletop items to figure out what they used to make that handles, but I can figure that out. Uh, anyways, really cute. The shabby modern house. It's, uh, let's see, it's in mist, but it doesn't say where. I'm not sure what server that's on. Oh, it's on, it's on Gaia, Gaia data center, Yojimbo server, mist 10.5. So if you want to go see it, if you happen to be on the Gaia, uh, data center, you can go look at this house. Let's see what else is here. Let's see if we can find some that have some of the new items in them. There might not be a whole lot yet because I think that some of these are ones that we might have already taken a look at in the past. I don't re I don't think I've seen this though. The Cozy Modern Magical Light Home. Let's take a look at this one. So this is their first floor. Look at that. So these right here are the back sides of white screens, some that have been floated from the basement and some that are floated up to make this little window and slanted skylights. They've used a feather bed and a, I believe that's a low bookshelf. I'm not sure what they used as the platform. They could It could be any series of cabinets used for the bottom there and that's a white rectangular partition. This here, I just figured out what this was the other day. This is a crystarium stove floated from the basement uh, to make this little table. Kind of crazy to go to all that trouble to make a little bedside table, but it looks cute. So there's another view of that room. It's very, very cute. And there's another one. They've got two Crystarium stoves floated up to have matching tables in the room. <laughs> some people, some some people are like, "Whoa, there we go. That looks better." My uh, <laughs> my blue light filter had been slowly getting darker, and I didn't even realize it, so I just turned that off. Let's see here. Here is another part of the room. They made a little nook here for reading with a paisa swing chair, and that just looks really cute. I really like the way the white screens uh, look from the back side. They may, they're very dark. The wood on them is very dark um, and it's hard to get any partition or anything else to look that dark. So let's take a look here. This is another view of the first floor. They have a little bathroom over here on the side, some really bright little windows. I suspect those are probably aquariums that have been floated um, up on you know, one on top of the other uh, to do that. And I think that the ceiling, if I'm not mistaken, this ceiling is actually the bottoms of slanted partitions. Those are the bottoms of a slanted partition. All right. Here's, they have a list actually here of the main of stuff used on the <laughs> the first floor. Oh no. All they have is one item in it. Thanks for a pure white partition. Let's see. Okay, so let's look at their second floor. This is the second floor of this house, which looks pretty cool. They just made French doors out of the big window and put some plants up here. Got the, the square windows, just half of them showing on that side. There's the top of one of those partitions that they used for the bottom floor. That looks really nice. There's that bathtub and here's, let's take a look. How did they do this window? Hmm, those are either aquariums or maybe they turned the windows sideways and just left the spaces open with the verdant partitions to get that 
I mean, you got if you place the windows right, you'll get those rays that come in. Um, oh no, you know what those are? Look, I can see it up here. These are display cases, the shelving showcases. Those are showcases. So they have glass on the front. That looks really cool. Looks nice. And they're easy. You can stack one on top of another because the top of them is a tabletop and they're tabletop items. So you can just put one on the floor and then put another one on top of it and build all of your uh, verdant partitions around it to make really and put windows and windows. I think you can just like slap them right up against the backside um, without any special uh, glitching to do that. So that's actually a really easy thing to do. Let's take a look here. Oh, this is so cute. Look at this bathroom they made. They have like a little vanity here with some little jars on it and two sinks. It's really cute. Little fat cat sitting there. That's their fat cat that follows them around. <laughs> yep, fat cat's looking at the tub. Not going to go in though. Not going to do it. I really like this idea for the windows and I'm totally going to steal that. I'm stealing it. It's mine now. I'm totally doing that. I need to, I'm going to remodel the ground floor of our free company house soon. Um, using some of the new items and I'm going to do that. <laughs> Your dog got all doggy again. That's all right. We're just looking at these houses on housing snap to see what they've been doing. Here's their basement. This looks so cool. I love it. And I am going to do that. I Now that I know how to do that, I figured it out just now. Looking at this picture, I'm going to do that. This is beautiful. How nice. Let's take another. Oh, here's their kitchen. Look at that kitchen. I would totally live in this house. <laughs> it does look awesome, doesn't it? It is amazing. This is just amazing. Here's their, uh, the living room, but they've got this fire just kind of going there on the wood. Looks a little dangerous to me, but it looks cool. I will say built a, you know, a TV out of, that's the back of a, fi of a fireplace, I believe of the fireplaces, but this looks really nice. It would be a nightmare to heat this house. Yeah, I know with all these, well, you, you, and you'd have to keep it kind of jungle like too, you know? I mean, if you lived somewhere warm, it wouldn't be so bad, although then it would be a nightmare to cool. So let's take a look at their garden. This is the garden picture. So they're just going to show us their gardeny stuff. Looks pretty nice. I'm inspired. I'm, you know, I'm, I, I love this. <laughs> too dang good. It's too dang good. This one, this house. I am inspired. So we'll look at a couple more and then uh, then we'll go actually look at some real houses in game. I wanted I'm just I wanted to come here and take a look to see what people were doing for holiday decor and also see if I could find um, people using the new items. Oh gosh, it updated. <laughs> the page updated while we were looking at that because people submitted more stuff. Let's take a look at this. The spa salon. This looks awesome. There's the entryway to the spa. There's your the 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 lady who will sign you in. This looks pretty cool. I love the little themed stuff. The little waiting area. This looks cool. I'm guessing that this is stuff floated from the basement to do that. Those are, those are, uh, you know what those are? Those are slanted partitions. That's what those are. And these are the skylights because they're thinner. This is a display case floated up from the basement, poking up through the floor. Here's the, um, this is the where the hot tub is. Although the fact that they used these, never melting ice lofts on the side make me think that it's actually an icy cold <laughs> cold spa but you know we've got these uh slanted partitions these are the tops of slanted partitions that have been floated up and these are some glade benches that have been placed at you know just at the right height so that they sit into those partitions 
pretty cool blue moon phasm escapes all around and lots of plants. Very neat. This is super cool. They did a very nice job with this. Those are the bot the these little lights are the bottoms of the little snowmen, little little tabletop snowmen that glow. <laughs> All in all, really, really nice. Very cute little spa. Let's see if they have an actual garden. It's just their little tub. Very cool. Oh, let's see their outside. There it is. Pretty. I like the way they use the gravel to do that in their yard. Lovely. Really nice. Let's take a look at one more before we go out looking at actual houses. Christmas Cottage. This is the Starlight Cottage. I'm not sure if it says where it is. It's in Mist Village. It doesn't say what server it's on though. So this is a little house in Mist somewhere. Little starlight cottage. Very cute. I like the way they did that. They used the stage and the tree is kind of just set inside of it. Oh, hey, Autumn. Welcome. How are you tonight? Are you sitting in a queue again? <gasps> Look at that. That is super cute. I love that. I love the way they did the fireplace. Um, let's take a look at this fireplace here. So this is the mason work stove. You're on. Oh, great. Yeah, this is the mason work stove. And so what these are is the brick countertops. These are little brick counters. They floated some up here. Yeah, I know the brown bench. Yep. That looks nice. Stained crystal ornaments, slanted skylights here. They stuck the candles up here and some little jars in their orchestrion. Uh, but I love the way they framed out the fireplace there. And then they use the wooden handrails inside to make it look like, um, you know, there's a grate in front of the, the fireplace. That's really cute. Really nice job. Let's see what the, here's the outside of their house. <laughs> very Christmassy, very Christmassy and mist where it never actually gets cold. <laughs> All right. So let's actually, uh, I better go back to the game. I don't want to get disconnected. Oh my gosh, I don't want to spend too long doing this or I'll get disconnected and then I'll have to sit in a queue for two hours to actually go look at anything. <laughs> that would be bad. All right. So I don't know if you noticed, Autumn, I, I did some work on my, my virtual avatar too. She's got lips now. She's got a nose that doesn't disappear into her face. I put a little more uh, like eyeliner around her eyes and I fixed her ears to look more Mikote like. She is pretty cute. She came out really cute. So I'm super happy with her. And she's got on a little ginger man cookie um, dress that I got from, uh, I got it on Booth. Yep. It's actually a dress. Here, I'll show you. It's just this little dress. She's got on this little dress. She's actually got on, look, she's got on, she's got on chucks. <laughs> so it's a little dress and, you know, she can do stuff too. She can like, she can, uh, she can wave high and she can give you the thumbs up and she can shrug like, what the heck? She can say no, <laughs> but most of the time I just have, you know, this part of her up because it just looks better for what we're doing. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to go to the ward where, uh, our free company house is because I found something while I was just out wandering around. <laughs> I was wandering around this morning, uh, just, you know, 
Hey, Buffalax, welcome. Welcome to the channel. I was out here wandering around because that's what I do. And I came across this little house down here that we're going to go take a look at before we go back to the goblet because we never did finish the goblet. Um, I think, was this the one? Oh, nope, this is not the one because that one's locked. It's one of these down here. I think it might be the last one on the row. Yeah, because that one's closed too. Yeah, it's this one. How are you doing, Buffalex? This is the Sand Castle Cottage. The owner is a, a prey, and it's the Apre Link Shale and Free Community co Free Company. Welcome to a home for us all. I need to update this to summer. Feel welcome to hang out. It's a designer home. It's super cute. It's this. It's it's like dark modern inside. Glad to hear it. Glad you're doing well. So let's go on inside here. Because this house is really cute. And I know I say that far too much, but you know, here we are. They use this brown, and there's the cob wall. Like, I said I wanted to use this wall the other day, and there it is. Someone's using it. And these are just wooden box shelves, um, which they can stick up on the wall without having to go to any great, you know, stretches to get them up there. So... Uh, looks neat though they kind of made these little nooks with it and put some flowers in and then they've got these little glade lanterns kind of stuck in the wall over here i like those too i think they look cool there's a little garden thing here by the door and this is just a cottage so it's not very big but those are their free company rooms and we'll take a look inside of those got these little uh they got like a rainbow of flowers um stuck in these little shelves here there's their guest book we'll sign that on our way out and then this is their stairwell they've like you know put stuff in their stairwell i like when people do that because this is a space that a lot of people neglect um, but that looks cute let's go on downstairs they have made it not square it's not square um, and it just looks nice it's just, you know, kind of dark and they've got, you know, the cob wall in the back. It's nothing crazy, nothing too glitchy. They didn't really glitch too much here. They just kind of clipped items to make stuff, um, you know, like that. That's just items all kind of placed. Um, <laughs> it's Enix. It's not square. That's true. <laughs> so... I think they did a nice job. I think they did a nice job on this. Oh, hey, hey, Acid Rain, welcome, welcome. How are you doing? Good to see you. All right, so we just wanted to come and take a quick diversion here because I saw this house when I was just out messing around this morning and so I thought it was cute and we would come look at it. And now we're gonna go finish up the Goblet 3 subdivision because we were there and we never did get to finish and we didn't get to go to the um, we didn't get to go to the uh, apartment building either. So we're going to do that. Love this house. It's so nice. And let's see. It's so nice. And I love the color scheme. The color scheme and layout. Well done. I live streamed. Whoops. I can't type tonight. My visit at twitch.tv. Katniss Evergreens. Come join us. There you go. Love this house. Very cute. All right. So from here, we're going to go directly to... Um, We'll go directly to the goblet subdivision. So we got to go to Olda. You love my Christmas sweater. Oh, thanks. I'm doing all right. I'm doing okay. Um, you know, uh, my health has been kind of crap for the last couple months, but I'm feeling better today uh, than I have in a while. Although I had a low blood sugar 
<laughs> like I hate that. I was like just washing the dishes and all of a sudden started feeling like really terrible and my blood sugar was super low when I checked it. Um, and that's one of the things that happens with my Addison's disease. And so it just kind of like, you know, made the afternoon less fun. But I'm feeling a lot better now. I, you know, I got these fashion accessories and I don't know why they're not on. So I got it. So I got these so that I could have glasses and antlers at the same time. <laughs> so I wanted to show you all. I added some commands to the chat that you can use if you want to find out about my health issues and you want to learn more about um, Addison's disease and adrenal insufficiency, you can do uh, exclamation point cat's health and it will tell you all this stuff. And then it also has a list of other commands that you can use to learn more about the individual autoimmune things that I have got going on. Um, I just like to try to raise awareness about these things because what I have is a pretty rare disorder. Like I have met one person in real life who has the same stuff that I have and, and actually just the Addison's. The, no, I haven't actually met anyone who has the same constellation of autoimmune things that I've got, um, which is, you know, I go to the doctor and they're just like, you know, oh, you're interesting. <laughs> the last thing you want a doctor to tell you is that you're interesting I don't want to be interesting I want to be boring but you know such is life this is what we get all right so we're gonna go I'm trying to remember where we were I think that we did not make it to all of the ones over on that side of the subdivision so I want to go say we want to go to the goblet southeast And um, we'll start there and see if we can pick up our trail of where we were. Because we missed a whole lot of houses here. We did not get to see all of them. Let's just go up this way. This house is locked. But I don't think that we went that way. I am in Ward 3, a uh, subdivision of the Goblet. And I know I came down on that side and I looked at the ones on that side, but I don't think I looked at the ones over here. So let's check this to see if this is one that was visited. I don't think it was. Nope, this is the cluster house. This is one that we did not get to. The owner is Cluster Frack. <laughs> uh, it's, the greeting is Puncha the Dumpsta. And it is plot 46 in the third ward of the goblet. Um, so... We're gonna we're gonna take a look. We're gonna take a look at this house. Let's uh let's take a look at their yard. We got a tree house and this outdoor table. Got some we got a lot of moogles. We got a lot of moogle topiaries going on here. The wave soul fount over there. Cherry trees, little dandelion plot. I think that's just the the one of the grand company target dummies. Um, let's go on inside and see what they've done inside their house. Oh, let me fix this here. I have to remember to fix the the captioner every time. Oh my goodness, they've got these stairs made out of uh, Riviera wall shelves. That takes so much work. Riviera wall shelves and cushions, and they're kind of glitchy, but we can get up onto the loft with those. So we've got a little loft here. There's some donuts and some books and some food. We've got the Moogle wallpaper going on. Pretty cool. Little mellow mog lamps. There's their vendors. Let's take a look downstairs. They are adorable. You know what I saw? Someone um, had made um, stairs out of the, uh, the, the new round wooden lofts that you can buy from the vendor. Today I saw it. Someone has done it. Um, and it's really cute. 
And it looks like, you know, very similar <clears throat> to the stairs that people will build from, uh, you know, items floated up from the basement, but um, with less items and less floating. This little downstairs is cute. Shark. Hello, shark. You poor thing. I like the way they did this. It's not square. It's not square. They've kind of unsquared it. I like their bar. They made, they use these flower stands um, to make tall bar stools. That's a good idea. I like the way they've used the Oasis stalls here for the bottom of the bar and they put little lamps on it and then they use the white half partition for the bar itself and these things for tall bar stools. That's pretty cool. Nice. Clever. Very clever. All right. Little Oasis half partitions are nice too. Let's go on up. Let's go on up and uh, let's see. I didn't see a guest book in this house. Nope. No guest book. That's okay. We'll go on to the next house and, uh, and see what we can see. I want to make it to the apartment building tonight. So let's see which other houses we did not get to. I don't think that we went to this down here. I don't think we did. This is the winds of winter. No, we did not go to this one. Um, the owner is Paula Crane Fanwilly, and it is plot 47 in the third ward of the goblet. It's a designer home. Visitors are welcome and it's a sanctum. So let's, uh, let's go take a look. So th for those of you who are new, welcome. I'm glad that you're here. Uh, I hope that you're enjoying the tours. We do this a few times a week. We come out and just kind of look to see what everybody's doing um, in their houses and try to get inspiration for our own housing projects. And uh, yeah, we have a lot of fun. And uh, sometimes things are just silly and sometimes things are really cool. Uh, we just never know. We never really know what we're going to find when we come out here. I want to take a look at their yard. So they like stuck this. They got the, the garden wall here. And the, I'm not sure what they, why they stuck this um, igloo there, but they did. Maybe that's to cool the weapons off when they uh, are done forging them. They just stick them in the snow. <laughs> that may be it. Um, and for those of you who haven't been in the channel in a little while, I actually finally got affiliate status. And so, um, yeah, so I can uh, get subscriptions now. You can use bits to cheer or whatever. Um, you can use channel reward points. I've got them set up and there are some fun things that you can do with those. Um, yeah, thanks, Acid Rain. I'm, it was, it was, uh, it's been like a week and one day now, I think <laughs> it's like eight days ago. Um, finally did it. And so, yeah, it was an accomplishment. <laughs> Let's go and take a look on inside this house and see what's going on. This is a designer home. So, oh, I should actually take a drink. That's a good reminder. I have been talking for like an hour already. I'll have to figure out how to make an animation of my character drinking something. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. This house is nice. Very cool. Very cool. There's their guest book. Oh, look at that. So I, this is a Glade cabinet floated up. This is the, the factory partition. The leggings, oh, they, you know, the snowflake leggings, they come 
it was a set the one year it came with the chest piece that i'm wearing the leggings and the boots it was um it was from one of the starlight celebrations i don't know if you can only buy the chest on the mog station and not the leggings and the boots i haven't looked i'm not sure um, I know I got the I got them all at the same time, and it was several years ago now. I think it's almost I, it might have been five years um, since this item was was part of the Starlight Celebration. I'm not sure. This is just put like you know, there's just a partition behind this, and there's this the factory partition, a white partition, a Glade sh cabinet, and I want to say that that is probably. Yeah, it's one of these. It's like the um Is that just the that might just be the planters. No, that's what the planters look like. Oh no, no. That is the planters. That's what that is. And there's just, you know, a verdant shelf partition and there's the back bar with the the stained crystal ornament stuck behind it on top of a cask rack and some glade pillars. What is that item? <laughs> what is that? Any idea, Acid Rain, what that is up here? The silvery thing. That's probably on one of the cabinets. You know, one of the, the Grand Company cabinet items. I'm not sure, though. Windows, valances. This is all very nice. I believe these are some R Riviera or uh, Oasis half partitions up there. It's a butt. <laughs> Hi, Drex. Welcome. How are you doing? You're a butt. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to figure that out. I'll figure out what that item is. I That might be that might be part of the Ish Guardian shelf. I'm not sure. It's something that they've stuck up there, though. That's a I might have to, like, try to bust through the wall to look. All right. So then over on this other side, we've just got this nice little sitting area with these little chocobo armchairs and a table. We've got some iron torches about to catch fire to the wooden lofts above them. But, you know, we'll suspend our disbelief about houses burning down for now. Um, you know, royal partitions and, uh, yeah, wooden loft and a... Uh, Oasis half partition they floated this fireplace up into the air here which those fireplaces are hard to float you're right back to hurting I'm sorry Drex they've got to do something they have got to figure out a medication regime for you yeah <laughs> the butt spot got you acid rain <laughs> butt spot is on a roll I like what they did here. They kind of floated the rugs, the meadow rugs up so that they just kind of like clip through the wooden loft. So it just kind of looks like, you know, flowers growing out of the wood. Little table and chairs up here. And they put this pond up here with the fish and a bunch of plants. Shower head. A stained butt. Oh, no. <laughs> I think that they need to use the bathtub downstairs. All right. So speaking of downstairs, let's see what they've done downstairs. The fact that, you know, they've used the actual walls of the, the house in a lot of places like this is the actual walls instead of um, partitions. So they've saved a lot of item budget by not covering up the walls. You would get a good butt effect from stained butt, <laughs> probably. Oh, hey, this looks nice down here. You know, they've used Oasis pillars to great effect here. That looks very nice. If you can't, you know, if you hate the pillars, just learn how to make them work for you. Nice little kitchen. Got the step kitchen and we've got these, um, I believe that these are step ovens. Um, they look cool. They've got that meat roasting on the table. So it is the starlight attire. Oh yeah. Yep. Yep. The, yeah. What I have is like the whole starlight attire. 
it's cute. And I and also I have the um the reindeer antlers. I've got the got the reindeer antlers paws and hooves and I've got the reindeer chest piece. It's like a, a whole body piece. It's like a onesie. <laughs> but I've got it on a on a mannequin right now. I like their little kitchen. Let's take a look in here. What have we got in this door? Oh, they made another little room back here. Oh, this is the bathroom. Here's the shower to get rid of that stained butt problem. <laughs> Fix your stained butt problem. So we got another fireplace here. This feels a little, it's a little tight, a little claustrophobic there. It's a very small little area, but if you come up here, you can take a nice look at it. It looks cool. If you were a real person and not using a camera, it wouldn't feel tight in there. That would be fine. That's enough space for a person. But with the way the camera in this game is, it just the super tight spaces just feel kind of kind of claustrophobic to me. I like this little um, their little bedroom here. Got the little uh, weapons things crossed on the wall. They've got these uh, Eorzean lanterns, or I think, are they Eorzean lanterns or Gradanian and lanterns? I'm not sure. But they got them stuck in the wall. Some paintings. Got this pretty shelf with some items on it. This sure looks nice. Sure looks nice. There's They stuck the behemoth wall, uh, wall mounted thing up on the fireplace there. It's huge. So, yeah, this is a cute house. A very nice house. I like it. I really like this house. And you know what I should do also is I should turn the music back on because I don't know what's playing in here. I turned it off when we were looking at Housing Snap. So let's just see. I think the music helps um, set the tone of the house too. All right. So let's actually, let's get out of here. Let's go to the next house. I think they have a guest book. Yep, it's right there. So we'll go sign the guest book. I like this house. Fabulous downstairs. Love all the lofts. Here, come join us. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll come join us. That would be nice. All right. So if you're out there in the in the channel and you're new, welcome. I hope that you will uh, hit that follow button, and so you'll know whenever I am out roaming around. Who knows? I might be in your housing district next. You never know. <laughs> well, actually, you will know because I kind of have a schedule. You're new. Welcome, Drexel. You're not new. I've known you your whole life, literally, from like before you were born. So, <laughs> guys, Drexel is my son. If you haven't met him before, he's my actual in real life son. And he also streams. And so, uh, while you're here following my channel, uh, pop him a follow as well and check out his uh, his streams. I can actually prove that. I have your birth certificate and my name is on it. So um, <laughs> be careful. I might reduce your allowance. <laughs> All right, let's see. Where else? Okay, we were there. We were here. Let's go this way. I think that we have not been over to this. The house is over here. I do not think we have been here. This is the Dragon's Den. The owner is Silene Ty Steele. Um, and it is a designer home and it is far Eastern. And it says that visitors are welcome. <laughs> fake real mom knows more a lot about these fake real houses. I do, it's true. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Oh, allow. I'm going to allow it. I'll allow. There you go. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, I think that it doesn't want to let people get into political debates. Um, and so when people start saying fake news, etc., I don't know. Um, anyways, it's allowed on my channel now. That's just weird. You know, Twitch has got some strange stuff going on. That's all I can say. So this is a designer home. It's a far eastern home and visitors are welcome. So, yeah. And I do actually, I know an awful lot about these houses, probably far more than I should f for someone who's supposed to be writing a dissertation. Um, <laughs> but this is more fun than grad school. And I need a break sometimes. I need, a, I need some time off. Um, where I'm not doing school, so this is what I do when I'm not doing school. Let's take a look at their yard. It's super cool. Who comes to Twitch to talk about politics? I don't know. Some people do. We have some friends who regularly get trolled by people, so. But we're going to keep it family friendly and stuff in this channel, so we don't do that. Check it out. They need to water their plants. Oh, hey, Human Target Joe. Welcome. Welcome. How are you doing tonight? We're going to we're going to go inside this little cute house and see what's going on in the dragon's den. Hopefully we don't get eaten. Some people are always looking for a fight. It's true. They are. Some people just they just want to, you know, they just want to stir things up and have an argument. I just want to have a have a good night. I know. I don't... Have you heard me curse? I haven't said any. No. What? No, don't. Oh, my goodness. Did you catch it? I don't know. Can you all hear my husband talking? <laughs> I think that my... Um, I think that my mic filters... Uh, yeah, barely. You can barely hear him because I have... A, I've got a, actually a really good mic. I got a, I got a nice sure mic. And, um, and it's good at the noise canceling. But no, I do want this to stay family friendly. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me fix that. I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I tried to turn those off the other day. I'm sorry. I'll just set it so that the... I thought I set it so that it was just going to do pre-roll ads instead of in the middle. And I'm not sure why it's still doing it. Let me see here. Settings. Where's those dumb ad things? Ads. Stream dis No, I don't want stream display ad. That's what I... Yeah, I don't want those. Why I disabled stream display ads? Because it's driving people crazy. I'll tell them. But I'll do it later. So hopefully that won't happen now. Um, it just, I think that they automatically have those turned on when you become an affiliate and then you have to figure out that they're doing it. All right, so here we go. <sighs> Try not to. There's, there are people, actually, I've had several people who's like, you know, we showed this to our kids and they thought it was amazing and fun. And so um, I try, you can say butts and the butts bot is allowed to say butts and you can say lots of butts. <laughs> but let's, you know, try not to, 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 you know, I'm your mother, Drexel. Old lady PG-13 stream. Yes. Welcome to the grandma's stream. If you don't like it, you know, I'll lower your allowance. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at this house that we're in. This is very cute. There's a stinian on the wall. I like the blue wallpaper. Nothing crazy going on here. They just got some nice items lined up along the outside of the wall. They didn't like break the room up into parts. Let's see what they've done downstairs. Oh, they did put in partitions down here. So this looks nice. I like the blue carpets. Let 
Oh, let me fix my closed captions every single time. This isn't your grandma's stream unless it is. <laughs> oh, those those are on the housing vendor. You can buy those from the vendor. The big blue and white um, vases. And they're enormous. They're huge. The first time I bought one, I was like, oh, look, it's a blue and white vase. And I bought it and it was that big. And I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> this little hallway looks nice. I love the blue. Let's go in this little door. Oh, look at this little bedroom is super cute. Let's go over in the corner so we can kind of look out at it. Kids bedroom. Very cute. Very cute. Little little Moogle bedroom. They got a little Moogle table. Look at this thing. Look at how cute these are. There's one playing a harp. There's one playing some cymbals. There's one blowing a horn. <laughs> it's like the Primogs. No kids with the booze there. Wait, is there booze in this room? There's no booze in this room. Oh, there is lots. What the heck is going on here? Maybe this is the Moogle's room. You know. Oh, hey, Saskat. Welcome. Welcome. Glad to see you. I hope you're having a nice night. <laughs> baby likes to drink. Well, maybe that's for the parents. You know, maybe this baby like cries all night long. And they have to put it in the car, in the car seat and go for a ride. The fairy painting. Oh, yeah. It's very cute. All right. Oh, are you in a queue, Sass? I'm sorry. Well, hopefully this will keep you entertained while you wait. <laughs> All right, let's check out the other bedroom. Or maybe this is a bathroom. Who knows? Oh, this is the bathroom. The giant tub. So, you know, maybe there's no children here. Maybe it's just an adult who's... Um... Oh, the data center kicks you. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry. You don't need to go for a ride in the car anymore when you're grumpy. I still need to go for a ride in the car when I get grumpy, Drex. <laughs> that always makes me feel better. I get in my car and I turn on the radio and I go for a ride. And <laughs> Daniel is accusing me of having road rage, but no. Especially now that I, I turned Sirius XM back on in my car. Um, I didn't have it for a while. You literally did that the other night. Yeah, it does. It helps, doesn't it? I love to go for a ride in my car with a radio and it makes me feel much better. <laughs> I live out in the country too, so it's just, you know, it's kind of nice. Nice place to ride out here. All right, so this was a very cute house. Dragon's Den. I like it. They don't have a guest book. So, yeah, that item right there, that's on the vendor, on the housing vendor. You can buy that. Let's move on to the next house. Listen to Radio Classics. I have a, 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 like five or six stations that I like to switch between. But it's definitely much better. I lived up in the mountains in Colorado for <clears throat> a few years. And um, there was no... I couldn't get cell phone reception when I was out driving there. I couldn't get any AM FM radio like in the valleys <laughs> when I would be driving home it was like a 45 minute drive in the in the mountains and so I got Sirius XM so that I could at least have some radio while I was out there let's see so we came down here and let's see I don't think we've been to this house over here this is Mist at Atelier so this is, um, you know, the workshop of the saint. Um, I'm guessing if this is Santa's workshop. The owner is Kira Mist, and it is plot 49. Let's go take a look. You have no cell phone. Well, I lived in a place where I didn't have cell phone coverage, and I didn't want to pay for... Um, for a landline phone and so I just got cable internet and I would use Wi-Fi calling in my house 
But if the internet went out, then I also wouldn't have phone. That was in Pennsylvania out um, in the middle of Amish country. My husband jokes that I lived on the Amish moon. This is a cute yard. They've got their laundry hanging up here. I guess they washed it in the hot spring. Guys, tell me if the ads start popping up again. I think I got it taken care of so that they don't interrupt the stream and you'll only get them, you know, when you first join the channel. I like their yard. It looks like they're getting their tea very, very hot by the forge there. All right, let's go on in and see what's happening in this house. The workshop of the saint. Oh, hey, this is very, very strange. Let's see what's happening here. <laughs> oh, you have to go through that partition to get back out. I, I'm not, I'm not sure if this is done or not. We'll find out. Good hot tea. Yeah. Okay. So we've got this kind of it's like, you know, I guess they're getting ready to go to the moon. Going to the moon. Gotta get your stuff together before you go to the moon. I'm not sure what all this is. <laughs> I think this is a work in progress. I think that perhaps they are, um, they are in the process of remodeling. Let's hop down here and see what's, if they've done anything downstairs. Oh, not yet. Nope. Let's see if they've done anything upstairs. That is pretty cool. I like the way they did that thing with the with the um, the nodes. Oh yeah, see, look, they're just like they've got stuffs kind of sitting around. What in the heck? Wait a minute. What's going on here? Maybe this is done. Are they were they summoned me? I'm in the summoning circle. I think that maybe this is a work, a work in progress, but you know, that looks like it's done that bit there. They summon and stuff. Yeah. I wonder if they're in this coffin right now. Are you in there? You sleeping in there? Maybe we should get out of here before they wake up. All right. Well, you know, you just never know. You never know what you're going to find. I think I'm going to get, oh, no, not, oh, look, hey, look at this. I'm in the secret room. I'm on top of the, 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 the downstairs there. They have, these are floor mats that they floated up. Um, and so I'm up, I'm up on top of the ceiling in the secret space. <gasps> All right. Well, that was an interesting diversion. Let's go to the next house. <laughs> Get a drink of water here. Yes, it does. It really does look nice. The ceilings in the houses are so tall. Um, I think it often looks better if you put something up there to kind of make the ceiling lower, you know, to kind of bring it down. It, it makes it feel more cozy. All right. So let's see what house is next. Gosh, everybody's got the forge walls. I'll be glad when people start using some different walls. I know that they, everyone likes these and they're cool and all, but it's like every house. <laughs> every house has got the forge walls. I will be glad to see some cafe walls up. Um, I haven't seen any on our server yet, but I'm sure somebody's got them. This is the Goon's Cave. The owner is a legacy forgotten and this is a free company house so we might be able to look at some rooms it is owned by goons and it says welcome to the goon lagoon and it's a tavern and a cafe so let's go take a look oh, one moment
time back. She's very sweet. She brought us some rice cakes. Some Korean rice cakes. Which I really love. I love the Korean rice cakes. So, all right. We're going to take a look inside this house. Oh, she's just coming right back down. All right, Nana, come on. <laughs> yeah, my mother-in-law is Korean, and she runs a Korean grocery store. And they have a rice cake machine um, at her store. And so she's been making rice cakes for days now because it's the holidays and everybody wants rice cakes for, uh, for the holidays. <laughs> so she's been very busy. This is not a finished product but you know they got some stuff going here there's checkered carpet which looks interesting with this chandelier this is that yellow checkered carpet this is the goon lagoon i guess this is what it looks like they've just got a few things going on down here i think it's a work in progress let's see if they have any free company rooms that are worth looking at they might Let's see. Oh, there's only a few rooms. This is the private chambers one. The owner is Hitch Stello and it just says howdy. So let's go on in and take a look. Ah, oh, they haven't really done a whole lot of decorating. I think everybody's just super busy. Everybody was getting busy. It was busy getting ready for Endwalker and now they're busy leveling. And I'm actually, um, I normally stream on Saturday mornings. I've, I've started playing um, near Replicant, but I'm not going to be doing that tomorrow morning. I'm taking a day off. I've been told that I need to take a day off. I will make it to Ward 11, Acid Rain. Is that your house, Acid Rain? Because we'll just go. We'll just go visit it. I'll, uh, I'll make a special trip. And we'll actually, we'll go there this evening, okay? We'll go take a look. It's a free company. We'll go take a look at it. Let's see if there's an, any of these other rooms. Snowy F. Frost Castle. Castle. Cat. Let me say that again. Snowy. Snowwiff Frostcaster. <laughs> Good gracious. Is it your free company that you're in, or is it just one that you saw that was cool? Because I'll go take a look at it. Well, this is a nice room. Nothing crazy here, but they've got some nice, uh, nice items. It looks nice. It's bright, cheery. I like the wallpaper. It goes well with the with the windows. All right. Okay. We'll go take a look. Let me look at this next room, and then after we finish in this house, we'll go. Oh, they spent, it's a Christmas house. Oh, yes. We're going to go look at a Christmas house. Nothing going on here. All right, so where are we going? We're going to, let's see, Ward 11. So it's Goblet, Goblet 11. Off we go to check out Acid Rain's Free Company house, which is decorated for the holidays. Oh, I'm going to get excited because I like Christmas. <laughs> Residential, go to Ward 11. What I could start doing is actually... Um, since I've, I'm doing episodes and I'm keeping track of where I go on a spreadsheet now because otherwise I'll lose track of what is going on because um, I'm an old lady, as Drexel uh, reminded me that, you know, <laughs> my memory might not be as good as it used to be. But anyways, um, I can just start like rolling a dice, you know. I think that we have enough Dungeons and Dragons dice and stuff that we could, you know, have a 24 roll <laughs> and just pick a ward that way so that, you know, it, <laughs> very astute of Drex. Drex is a very astute child. He is. It's true. All right. 
So we're gonna go to, would you say plot 43? Was it 43? Oh, 39, 39. All right, here we go. So let's take a look at the map. So that's in the subdivision. And let's see, what's the closest aetherite to 39 is right there. So that's north, the goblet north. Okay. We'll go to goblet north subdivision and it should be right there. You're my child. I know you're not a child anymore. Gosh. Trust me. <laughs> well, you're not a child, but you know, you're my child. <laughs> I have a Drex mama moat. So I think this is, whoops, what the heck was that? It's this one right here. This is it. This is cute. Look at all the Christmas. I like the walls that you used for your house. Those are cool. It's like, it looks like your house is up on, um, up on stilts. That's cool. I don't know if I've ever seen that. I, I don't know if I've ever seen these walls before. That's interesting. I like that too. Very cute yard. That is a giant chocobo and a tiny chocobo. That must belong to a Rogadin, and that's a Lala Fells, obviously. <laughs> the snowmen, and I love the sun-topped tree. I really, I don't have one of these, and I want one. Cute, very cute yard. Let's go on inside and see what's happening. All right, oh, we've got all of the Christmas decoration up. There's the tree and the presents. And we got just, you know, little starlight cake. I love those, the little food items from the holidays are so cute. Look at those little roll cakes. Yum. All the bright decorations. The little snowman that people use the butt for lights. <laughs> Let's see. There's their free company room doors. So we'll take a look in the rooms too. Red curtains at the top of the stairs. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. Christmas decor looks nice. Oh, this looks so cute. I like this at acid rain. This is nice. Look. Very cool. Very cool little cavern, uh, tavern, tavern, cafe, tavern, stage, venue. She spent a lot of time on it. It looks really nice. This looks really nice. Oh, hey, can I have a rice cake? Ooh, sweet. I get a rice cake. I just want one. Not even the whole one. I want like a half of one because they're, they're really big. Here you go. Thank you. Mm. Okay, so now I'm chewing rice cake. <laughs> I like this. This is super nice.
Nice cat boy. Howdy. Little bar with food on it. Is that the spaghetti a la Nero? <laughs> That looks really cute. Well, you can tell um, your free company person who did the decorating that I really like it. Look at the little backstage area. Cute, very nice. Look at the little costumes. Nice. This is a very cute house. I love it. Are there free company rooms that um that are decorated? Cause I'll go take a look. Let's see if people have free company rooms. Oh, look, there's, look at, look at, you don't think so? Look at the, look at the door here. Acid rain, check it out. You've been missing out. <laughs> Your room is empty. Okay. This is 18, <laughs> this is 18 naked cowboys is the very first room on the list. The owner is Coyote Kiryu and Ram Ranch really rocks. Visitors welcome haunted house in the bathhouse. Um, we're going to go take a look. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> what the heck is going on here? Well, well then. Look what we found. <laughs> Not a lot going on here, except someone really loves Merlewib. Every, everyone loves her, but this person really loves her. Yes, yeah, someone's got the hots for the Admiral. She does have a, you know, rather um, bodacious figure. Yes, she's bodacious. <laughs> All right, let's take a look at the next room. There's obviously stuff going on in this house. Let's see. Private chambers number two, owner Helen Nya. I don't know. We'll see. I don't, they don't have a greeting, so we'll see if there's anything in here. There is stuff in here. <laughs> I'm stuck in the thing, but we can move. There we go. All right. So there's a little Lalafell who will greet you at the door. And just a little half partition and a marble arch to walk through here. Nice little lamp there. That's one of the floor lamps. Hmm. You could use that as a spigot for a faucet right there. You could use those for handles on a door. This is a cute room. Here's the Lalafell crew. Big screen TV, little couch with a foot cushion. Very nice, very cute little room. Let's check the next room. There's a lot of rooms in this house actually. Look at this, got a lot of rooms. So, the next room is owned by Sarah Milstein. We'll see if anything's happening in Sarah's room. Just a little standard decor here. Just some cute items. The couch and the bed. Got some slippers sitting next to the bed. It's minimalist. And then there's this poor little thing, the Perry Fool, with this fork stuck in her head. 
I know there's carbuncles everywhere. Carbuncle bathtub, everything is everything is carbuncles. Let's go to the next room. The owner is this is Lily's room. And I think that's how you say it. Um, come for the company, but stay for the carbuncles. Oh boy, <laughs> more carbuncles. <laughs> they have a message book and it says visitors are welcome. So we'll go take a look at you, Lily's room. I, lo I love looking at people's rooms to see what cute things they, oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, see, I feel bad that people can't buy houses, but I'm glad that they can get apartments because look at this. Apartments and free company rooms. Here you go. This is super cute. This is really pretty. That's so nice. I love it. I like the way they've used the lavender or the glade pillars here up against the wall. That looks really nice. Another ad. Did it still do it? Oh my god, what is going on? I swear I turned off in stream ads. That's upsetting that it's still doing it. Let me look again. Ad previewing allow subscribers to watch content on oh. <laughs> multiplayer allow subscribers so subscribers can watch it ad free and I don't I've turned off ads but I don't know if I can turn it all the way off three minutes per hour no 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 okay I'm trying to fix this. All right, so I think, no, it's still there. Okay, I think I fixed it now. They have it, they've got new stuff. For the ads, there's like a schedule for the ads. And apparently, I turned off everything, but yeah, yeah. I think I, I just unchecked the box for those ads. Oh, they're on their way in to, to chat? Okay, cool. This room is super cute. I love it. I want to take a look over here. Oh, they just have the little, um, little bed here. Look at the carbuncles. That's very cute. Got a little, uh, the little, I think that's just like the walnut, um, the walnut cartonier. It is true. Oh, hey, welcome Ninja Filipina. Welcome to the, the channel. We're glad you're here. Hey, hi, Shadow Princess. Welcome. How are you doing tonight? This is super cute. Your room is very, very cute. I love this. This is beautiful. The way you did this wall with the windows and the pillars. That's lovely. I like it. It looks really good. Very cute room. Did you decorate the free company house also? Super pretty room. 
my favorite couch. Really nice, really nice. Well, welcome. Um, hope that you're having a good night and we're glad that you're here. <laughs> yeah, you know, it. it's a lot of work to get it just the way you want it. But this is beautiful. A lot of really nice touches, like the little stained crystal there above the door. Reminds me of houses in the town where I grew up. All of the old row homes in this town, they all have little stained glass windows above the door like that. Oh, hey, welcome, Crimson Hylian. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well tonight. If you're new to the channel, I hope that you will uh, hit the follow button and um, turn on notifications so you know when I'm out looking at people's houses. I do this a few times a week and we have a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun doing this. Let's see. So the next room in this house is owned by... Yes, I do. I love, I love all of the stuff that you've done in this house. It's beautiful. That downstairs is really cute. So the owner of this room is Axelia Raleigh. It is room number six. It says, welcome to my loft, apartments in style. It's a designer home, visitors are welcome, and it's an immersive experience. So let's go take a look at Axelia's room and see what's going on. Yeah, it's really beautiful. And um, one of the things that I do here is that after I have the video like tomorrow I'll sit down with this video and I will break out each house into its own um, little highlight video segment and label it uh, so that you know you can come back later and um, you can see it um, whenever you want. Thanks for the follow. This room is so cute too. Oh my gosh, people in your free company love to decorate. This is awesome. And that's your company crest. It's a rabbit. <laughs> I love it. That's adorable. <laughs> Pretty room. Look at this. It's a very pretty room offset by the horrifying doorway that you have to walk through. Get out. <laughs> that actually looks really cool though, I have to say. It's a marble maw. Pretty room. Let's take a look over here. There we go. A little wardrobe. Here's where they can do their makeup in the bathroom. Very nice. I love it. Little, here's a little bedroom. Oh, look, a little hat on the stand next to the bed. Cute, really cute. Cute room. Let's go into the loft. It's a little loft apartment. This is adorable. Look at this. This was so much work. <laughs> to float all of this furniture up here. What a pain. Oh, I fell. I fell through the loft. Oops, we'll go back up. I'm gonna go up on the table here. I think it's because of the ceiling there. Nice little kitchen up here. Cute. This is very nice. Very nice room. I fell down through the floor. That's okay. We're going to go out. Cute room. My goodness. I'm always happy to see people do, a, you know, make good use of apartments and free company rooms because I know that's what most people are going to end up having. Let's see. Oh yes, I actually have, um, I have a t-shirt with the bunny, with the bloody fangs. Yep, I've got one of those. 
All right. So the next room, it's Selly's C- Quiet Place. The owner is Selly Azaris. And it just says, welcome home. Visitors, <clears throat> welcome designer home in an emporium. There are a lot of rooms in your free company house. Oh, look at this. I'm t- Man, Acid Rain, thanks for turning us on here. Thanks for um, letting us know to come to this house. People in this free company like to decorate and all of their rooms are just so cool. Look at this. Got a nice little hallway here. There's a guest book, so we'll sign that. Little Riviera wall shelf and some orange trees from the vendor. This looks cute. I like the lighting. It's very cozy. Very cozy. Look, oh, here's the little, here's a little library and you can also get your hair done here. <laughs> okay, so we've got a little room underneath the stairs, the futon, bedroom. Very cool. See, I think that the thing that we saw floating up on the wall that we couldn't figure out what it was, was probably one of these grand company items that have all the little metal decorations on it. Just, you know, placed flush with the, with the partition. But I'll have to do some research to figure out which one it was. Carbuncles. This is very cute. Selly's room is very cute. Oh, it's time to dump the transcript on the web captioner because the buffer is full. So it should be better now. Yeah, there we go. All right. Very sweet room. Look how pretty that looks. That little hallway going out. That's really cute. I know I say cute way too much. I like the flower walls too. I've seen people, you know, when I first saw that item, I was like, I don't know about that. That's kind of loud, you know, and the, and the rugs. And I wasn't really sure um, what people would do with them. But people have really done some really beautiful, creative things with them. I think it was, a, it was you know... All in all, a good ad. This is so cute. I love your room. It's just so pretty. The hallway entry is really nice. Live streamed my visit at twitch.tv Katniss Evergreens come join us there we go left a message I like to leave the channel name for people who may not be on online so that they can always come back and look at their video later all right so let's see what's next wow there's a lot of rooms here so that was Selly's room the next room is Leila Tani's room, and it says, looking for cleaning lady, no pay included. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I wonder if this is the storage room. <laughs> oh, this looks really nice. Look, here's another nice room. Here we go. Another nice room. Just dark walls, little library, little fish tank. I wonder if there's clothes on the floor somewhere, laundry baskets, no. Nope. Just a little cute room. Let's go to the next one. The next room is owned by Skeleton Milk. And it is ominous prognostics. Visitors are welcome. It's an immersive experience and a sanctum. Let's go see what Skeleton Milk has done in their room. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh. 
Ninja Filipina. Your free company is awesome. Look at this. This is amazing. My gosh. Look at this beautiful room that they made. This little fireplace we've used the Yulemore floor, which is a really dark green marble. It's beautiful. We've got the cool star globe um, chandelier. Got a lot of little like academic looking stuff sitting on this desk. Oh yeah, this is one of your favorite rooms. Yeah, this is amazing. This is amazing. How cute. Looks like they're writing a dissertation too. <laughs> Makes you want to Google again. <laughs> Look at that big book. Oh my gosh. And I love the wall with the stars. That's just, I'm going to do something like this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do, I have an idea, actually, um, with the new wall that they're putting, you know, the new walls they put in with the little, the little nooks. I'm going to turn them into little windows with stars. So there'll be like three little windows and I'll do a black partition or stage panel up in them with the, with like gold bars or something behind um, each one. Because I think that would be really cute. <laughs> That's the idea I have anyways. Nice room. Very, very cute. I love it. Very cute. Oh my gosh. Let's see what's next. I'm excited. <laughs> I love this room too. I know. Let's go to the next one. Let's see. So that was... Uh, Let's see. That was Skeleton Milk's room. So the next room is Private Chambers 10 and its owner is Tatawi Tawi and it says no preps allowed. Visitors are welcome under renovation. So it's under renovation. We'll keep that under consideration. It also says it's a haunted house. I'm never sure what that means. Well, this is cute too. But it looks like, the, yeah, it's under renovation. They're working on it. But they've chosen a dark theme. With a the starlight cake. Or no, that's the name day cake. <laughs> I'm going to leave a message and tell them to let me know when they've finished decorating, redecorating the room. And I'll come and look again. Hello, let me know when you finish redecorating and I will come back to check it out. Live stream my visit to at twitch.tv Katniss Evergreens. All right. Oops, I think I misspelled Twitch there. I did. There we go. All right. So hopefully they'll send me a message. Let me know when they redecorate their room and we'll come and take a look at it again. Yes, Harshavrant. Over the fireplace. Yes, indeed. Everywhere. Everyone's got a Harshavrant. Everyone loves him. We all miss him. Let's see. This room is house and it is owned by Manuki Hushif Hushifont. <laughs> and it says no trolls. No, tr Does that mean no trolls are allowed or that there are no trolls already in there? Oh, it's an Ishgardian style room. I think. Or it's a, it's at least, you know, it's a work in progress. Is that a pudding table? Is that what that is? That's the pudding table, isn't it? <laughs> Wait a minute. When the dodo walked over, it made a squishy sound. Yep. The pudding table makes a squishy sound when things walk over it. 
Oh gosh. Did you hear it? It makes a squishing sound when I jump on it. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> That's all I can say to that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my dear I'll leave a message and let them know that their table squishes <clears throat> did you know that when you walk on the table it makes a squishy sound may need cleaning live streamed my visit at twitch.tv for slash catmiss ever ever greens smiley face <laughs> very funny <clears throat> very funny items in this game oh i have a thing that i'm gonna do too also Anytime I go into a room where Civilizations is playing or into a house where Civilizations is playing, um, I can play the song for you. Hopefully we'll run into one, but that's, I'm already in that chamber. So the next one is Cultus Yuyushan. It says, enjoy my minimalist approach, AKA I have no furniture cause broke. Uh oh, we might have to take up a, we might have to take up a, a collection for cultists oh my gosh he has furniture <laughs> and also he's got a thing for um for nanamo look at this someone loves the sultana <laughs> that's nice furniture this is nice Well, I'm glad that they were able to afford furniture. Oh my god. Look at this. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, this is crazy. <laughs> Alrighty then. You know, some people just really, really love Nanamo. They do. Some people really love Nanamo. I love Nanamo. My Chihuahua's name is Nanamo, actually. And one of the channel rewards is if you redeem 10,000 channel points, I will put on the Nanner Cam. Yes, it is. Pr this, that's what I was thinking. This is just wallpaper at this point. Um, so the Nanner Cam is I will turn the webcam on that I, I have another little like uh, webcam that I can set up over by where my dog sleeps and so you can watch uh, Nana on a separate camera for like 30 minutes but that's 10,000 channel points <laughs> she's super adorable I'm hoping that we come across a room where they're playing civilizations I have a funny thing that happens when I when I come across it. This is the uh, private chambers. 14 owner is Ryu Lightly. It is under renovation. Visitor welcome, and it's an immersive experience. We'll take a look. Oh, it's under renovation. We'll have to come back again. You know, we'll come back um, after the holidays when you redo your decor. Um, will come back to visit the house. They don't have a message book. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't, I can't shake them down for the money they owe you. You'll have to do that yourself. <laughs> do I look like a mercenary? <laughs> <laughs> The next house, uh, next room is owned by Sylviana Terrace. It says, welcome to my lair. It's an atelier. It's a library and visitors are welcome. Oh, wait. Have to, oh, okay. There's a library. 
Everyone plays Dragon Song and no one plays Civilizations. Nice room. I like the Glade Arbor Wall. And I love this. The bomb stove. It's awesome. Meat roasting. Tree stump table, which I adore. I love that item. We've got a, a mannequin with the demon hat of casting. Or that's the demon hat of healing. Very nice. Blue moon phasmoscape. Let's go to the next room. We're halfway through. Well, I think, well, there's not nearly as many now. There's one, two, three, four more rooms to visit here. So this room is just a smiley face. The owner is Lakoli Nena. And it just says, hi, it's a sanctum of visitors welcome. So uh, we'll go take a look. Oh my goodness, they have a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> this is cute though. It's a little cozy room with all of their favorite things. Got a fat cat bank and a little Moogle desk, which is a really cute item back here. This is the Moogle, like the Moogle secretary desk. I love that. Very cute. And then we got the carbuncle desk too. He hasn't decorated his room yet. We're going to have to help. It's just furniture storage. I love the Marimo lamp. Nice food on the table. I love the little onigiri. What a cute item. I'm going to have to make some onigiri this weekend. I have some stuff. I have some little Korean rice seasoning that you put into the rice. And then you... Um, you know, you use it to make onigiri, and it uh, it's very tasty. Look at these little, look at the, look at the things. What are those? Are those just little stools? Is that a new item? What is that? I haven't seen these before. Those little stools are adorable. They're little cactuses. You can sit on a cactus. Because it's a good idea. <laughs> oh, dear. Little carbuncle bathtub. Many carbuncles. Many carbuncles everywhere. Carbuncles are the thing. They're the hot commodity. I want those stools <laughs> in real life. Yeah, those are cute. I haven't seen those before. This is the first, my first time seeing those. So, but they're not on the list of new furniture. And so I have no idea where or when these were put in. I wonder if they're from the, um, from the gold saucer or something. Um, I think so. Let's see. Yes, you can. You can sit on them. They're very cute. <laughs> That's adorable. I know. I got to figure out where those are from now. Oh my gosh. All right. Next room. That was very cool. Osric Wolf's room. It says, say hello to Frederick. He's a lonely boy. Okay. Well, if I see Frederick, I'll say hello to him. Frederick must be the fish. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's a sawfish. Poor Frederick. He is a lonely boy. Not a whole lot else going on in here, but you know, we got a fish who needs some attention. <laughs> Let's go to the next room. Let's see. The next room is Lullaby Pub. The owner is Kalon Lullaby. And it's a tavern and eatery, and it says visitors are welcome. So we'll go take a look at their room. Very cute little uh, cafe. 
It's a cozy place to go out for date night. You can go have dinner with your significant other. Or with your family. You know, because that's a lot of meat to eat for one person or two. <laughs> I ate a whole Starlight Dodo, though, just so that I could have the platter. We've got a marlin in the fish tank here. This is super cute. The pastry rack and, you know, smoking at the bar and some tankards of ale. And look at that nice little platter of food. That totally looks like a lunch I would like to eat. A little lotus, uh, lotus root salad, whoops, with some shrimp. And that looks like, that looks like some perilla leaf. Very cute, very cute room. So many cute rooms in this house, my goodness. All right, so we have two more rooms to visit. This is number 25, owner's Azalea Stellhart. There's uh, no greeting, but it says uh, visitors are welcome and there's a message book. So we'll take a look at her room. Azalea Stellhart. Oh, this is adorable, look. Whoops, let me move back to the door here. There's a loft above us. Got the little desk here. Very cute. Got the little little uh, wagon thingy, the little cart counter. I got a loft up here with a little stove and a table. This is very cute. Little map of the Domen Enclave. Very pretty. And here's a little bedroom. Just minimalist. This is very cute. I like this room. We'll sign their guest book. We're first. I love your room. It's very cute and cozy. Nicely done. I live streamed my visit at twitch.tv for such catness ever greens. Come join us. Really pretty. I love it. Here we go. I think there's one more room to visit. Yeah, I like that. I like the way she, she did that. It's very, very cool. Very nice. Very, very nice room. Let's see. So the next room, the last room is Dysfunctional's room. <laughs> this room's mine, it says. <laughs> it says it's under renovation, so there might not be anything going on in here. We'll see. Nope, it's empty. It's dysfunctional. But that's okay. <laughs> so if we go into a home that has civilizations playing... I actually, whoops, not that one. That's if you, that's if you cheer with bits. <laughs> if you use your cactuar needles and for a cheer, you get that. Um, no, if we go into a house where Civilizations is playing, I do this. <laughs> I guess we're back to Goblet 3. <laughs> all right so let's go back to goblet three and see if there's any houses that we missed let me look at um, it from the the ethernet first to just look to see if there's ones that i re haven't seen 
Let's see. We believe we visited Tech Enforce. Yes, we did that one. We've been to Plot 35. We've been to the Crit Crib. Yeah, we've been there. We've been to T. We've been to Heart. Oh, wait. Is this one? Oh, that's the small. We've been there. We've been to the Rift Runner's house. We've been to... Yeah, we've been to Legion 9. Um, I think that we have not been to Polar's Palace, so we haven't been to number 60. We haven't been to this one either. So we have... We've been to Goons. Okay, so I think that we have 52 through 60 to visit. So we still have eight houses to visit. I know, I know. I, You know... He's a treasure. He's a treasure. Oh, absolutely. If you move and you have an open house, I hope that you would invite me. I would love to come. That would be awesome. I would definitely, I will come and I will live stream your open house. <laughs> All right. So we're going to go back to Goblet 3 and we're going to start with plot 52. Did we see this one? Yeah, we did. Okay. Yep. So we're going to start with plot 52. That's where we left off. And so we have eight more houses to visit. And that should take us right about to 10 o'clock. Um, I'm going to do a hard stop at 10 o'clock tonight. I've been told that I need to take a break because I've been working too hard. Um, yeah. <laughs> so I'll have to. Huh? Huh? Or I get clonged with the frying pan. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so I, I have to take a break and, um, you know, take better care of myself so that I can continue to do house tours. Because, you know, if I'm, if I'm not well, I can't do this for anybody. And it's just too much fun for everyone. So I want to make sure that I stay healthy and keep being able to do it. So we're going to go here to the Goblet Southwest because I think that's the closest way to get there. All right. So let's see. Where are we? We are at 57. So we have 52 through 60. So we basically have all of these little houses in this little area here to see. All right. So we'll just, you know, we'll just start like Let's just start with 60 down here and work our way up. This is Polar's Palace. The owner is Phantom Thieves and it's a free company house. And it says, welcome to the metaverse. <laughs> it's a library. They have a message book and visitors are welcome. So we will go on in and take a look. They have a nice big yard because this is a big plot. It's a rainy night in the desert. Yeah, everyone is grateful for the rain when it falls in the desert, so no one's complaining about the rain out here. They've got this big, nice plot that overlooks the gorge, and if it were daylight, you'd see that they got big rocks. <laughs> big rocks. Right next door to uh, someone's heaven on high and Otter Otter house. Got the little uh, oriental decks there go on and take a look inside and see what's happening in this house. <laughs> oh boy. Well, you know, whenever you redecorate Shadow Princess, just let me know and I'll come and take a look at the new decor. I'm more than happy to do that. So this house is cute. Check it out. Let's go back to the door here. Looks nice. They've stuck this uh, the Bahamut up in there. Got unfinished oasis partitions there because the I love that white wood, the whitewashed wood. This little dragon girl here will greet you at the door, sign you in. There's the guest book. We'll sign that on our way out. Just you know, pretty lamps at the base of the stairs. That looks good. These big houses can hold so many items. They're just huge. Decorating them is a real chore. It takes a lot of work.
nice library. There's Harshafront. They've just got the stages up here with um, cushions for people to sit on and read. Display cases and a fireplace. This looks cute. This is cozy. Just a cozy little library. A futon in case you need a nap while you're at the library. There's some tea cooking back there. Let's see what's in this room. This is probably just the way downstairs. Yeah, here's the hall. We'll go downstairs first. Whoa, look at this. Let's go check out their big table. <laughs> oh, here's a cute little place to sit and have a snack with your free company. This is all set up to be like a nice place for a free company to hang out together. Look at this table. What's going on here? It's like a mad party. It's like the mad tea party. many items there's a little thing behind each chair they don't all have something on them but some of them do there's an awful lot of stuff going on on this table this must be the boss's chair over here where all the food is <laughs> all right let's go on upstairs I don't think there's... Nope. There's nothing else to see down there. We'll go a little faster. Get up the steps. All right. Dragon. This is the kitchen. More places to sit and eat. Oh, look. They've got the little chef's play set in here for anyone's kids that come. The boss's seat is the snow cone seat. <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course, because, you know, the, the snow cone is the best. Oh, goodness. For whatever reason, you know, I pay for animes and I shouldn't have to have their advertisement on my screen popping around. I gave them my money. Cute kitchen. I like that. I like the stuff dard, uh, not dyed dark. Dyed dark. I can't speak. I can't speak. I'm getting tongue tied tonight. All right. Let's see what's in the other side here. Oh, there is something going on over there. I see. What do I see? I see something quite disturbing. If I didn't know those were starlight dodos, I would be very, very concerned. All right. Thanks for the lurk. I think this is just a place to take your picture here. Oh my gosh, what's happening here? Why? Why so many starlight dodos? <laughs> well, I guess you know the holidays are coming and they maybe have a lot of company members. We'll go see if there's any rooms to look at. I don't know if we'll visit every room because um, we only have like another 40 minutes. Oh, they only have a few rooms, so we'll go take a look. This is Polar Polar Arctic Arcticos's room. It's the shag room and it just says giggity and it's a photo studio and eatery and a florist. Oh gosh, <laughs> that's just the big bed and some, you know, some, a bowl of Odin in case you get hungry. <laughs> Let's see, the next room is owned by Keushe Sayoke and it's an immersive experience. A haunted house and visitors are welcome. Is it coin-operated? That's how you really know. 
maybe maybe it's coin operated that's a good question i i didn't see a slot for coins but i i didn't want to get too close just in case you know we're still in a pandemic <laughs> well they've got to start on this room but it's not quite done let's see i think there's one more room to look at it's Dag's private chamber, and it's owned by Dragon Bemage. No greeting, but we'll see if they have anything going on in their room. Not much, just a sandwich. Just some sandwiches and some meat, and that thing. All right, so I thought this house was cute. It looks like they still have uh, work to do on it. They're not quite done, but these big houses, um, they take a lot of time to decorate. So we'll sign their guest book. Cute house. I love the kitchen and also am impressed with your early prep for the holiday dinner with all the dodos upstairs live streamed my visit at twitch.tv forward slash Katniss ever dreams smiley face <laughs> a word from the owner drop us a like and hit that subscribe button fam yes do that drop us a like <laughs> drop us a follow hit that subscribe button subscribe to the channel consider subscribing i can have subscribers now um and any subscriptions would be greatly appreciated it will definitely help me stay in the house tour business so if you're enjoying this content and would like to see it continue um yeah if you are able uh subscription would be would be greatly appreciated if not you know that's okay too we're just glad you're here all right so that was plot 60 we're going up the hill here so we are in front of the market board here and this is zira's cottage the owner is zira veer and is plot 57 and it is a designer home and there's no um no greeting but it's a designer home. So we'll go take a look and see what they've done. Boy, it's really wet out here. This, you know, it rained like cats and dogs here in Georgia last night. And so I walked outside this morning and this is what the ground looked like. My poor husband had to like drive to work in the rain. The dog was not happy. She hates it. <laughs> she hates the rain. Let's see what we got here. We've got some big row daddies who will take care of your business for you. Little map table. I love that item. I still don't have one. I'm going to have to make myself one. Little table. Little bear. Very cute. Let's go on downstairs and see what's happening. 11 orb, but it's not turned on. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. <laughs> Got a little kitchen there. And let's see what's back here. It looks like this house is it's still a work in progress. They're not quite done here. There's an, an awful lot of open space oh hey oh hey thanks acid rain thanks for gifting that sub to ninja filipina thanks so much my stocking is gonna start filling up for the holidays <laughs> with all the follows and stuff all right let's go to the next house i didn't see a guest book
All right, so let's see, what's the next house? So we were at 60. Oh wait, look, there's one down here we didn't see. We have to go back down here for 59. It's off on the side, tucked to the side. All right, let's see here. This is private estate 359, and the owner is Gellet. I'm gonna I'm gonna butcher this name. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best. Gellieffed, Gellieft, Gellieffed, uh, Gellieft. I don't know. Latorgia. Uh, you know, I, I worked as a substitute teacher for a long time, and I've pronounced a lot of names. Thanks again for touring the house. You were in shock when, <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you know, there are other folks who do um, housing stuff like this, sort of, um, but they just, you know, they have people apply. You know, you have to send them a thing about your house and you have to send them pictures and then they'll like choose which ones they come to visit. And that's fine because, you know, what they do is, you know, they want to look at um, people who are doing the real kind of glitchy, really hard to do housing designs. Um, that's not my channel. That's not this show. Uh, this show is about just seeing what the average everyday housing designer is doing and what people are, you know, what they're coming up with. And honestly, I have seen so much creativity in houses um, that wouldn't have made it onto their show onto the to the big show um, that have been really inspiring um, because people come up with really creative things to do with objects to turn them into other objects um, and so yeah we find a lot of things that you know that would get missed otherwise and other also people who just wouldn't apply to have their house looked at in the first place and and yeah so we and we have a lot of fun so this is uh, it says that this house is still very much a work in progress, but you're free to explore. So we'll go take a look. And I'm so glad you're here, Ninja Filipina. And hopefully you'll come back often and, um, you know, we can get inspired to do new housing projects together. <laughs> I always need that inspiration. I'm going to tear apart the downstairs of our free company house soon and redo it. It needs to be redone. It's been like over a year since I did it. And there's lots of new items now. This is a cute yard. I love the hydrangea plots. I've seen people dye them some really cool colors. I didn't realize, you know, when I first got them, how neat they would look dyed. But those are, you know, here we've, it's been dyed like this really bright turquoise blue, um, which is pretty. Yay, I'm so glad that you're enjoying it. I, I love doing this. This is fun. It would be nice if it someday turned into a real job <laughs> and I could quit some of my other part-time jobs. But until that time, I'm still going to keep doing it because it's fun and it gives me a break from all the other work. <laughs> Look at how cute. Oh my God, they got the rock and music going on in here. They got a picture of Gestal up on the wall. Cute little table, little cart counter with some beer tankards on it and some flowers. This looks nice. I love this item. I love the table. The little rustic uh, banquet table. It's working really well since the last stream you are here for? Okay. Yeah. I'm using the web captioner. I just have to pay attention to it. Um, because if the buffer gets too full, it starts to act crazy and also... If I click something on that monitor and it unfocuses the web captioner window, it stops working and I just have to click it back to so that it's, you know, on top. Um, and sometimes I forget. <laughs> so if I ever do forget, if it ever stops going and it's just like hanging at the same word for a while, just, you know, mention it and I'll fix it. It may be that it's getting better at... Um, telling what I'm saying to I like this little cafe this is very cute I love the red wall that's the Yulemore wall it's a really pretty red color got a little anglers canvas there and a little otter otter screen fish tank 
I love this item too. I saw someone use this as the base of their Christmas tree. They had like the silver starlight sentinel um, with this at the bottom of it and it looked really cool. All these catfish everywhere, oh my gosh. Let's see what's going on downstairs. I like the way they did this. Kind of cut their stairs off short so that they have a little loft here with some stuff on it. Oh, this looks cute, look. Pretty, I love that table. I'm gonna make one of those soon. Oh, what a pretty downstairs look. <gasps> mm, I like it. I like it. I love that, like, you know, it's like, it's just little crates. Little, little like, storage crates or whatever. This is so pretty. What a cute little living room downstairs. Let's look at this again here. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Let's go in their bedroom. Oh, look at their bedroom. This is so nice. Oh, they've got, they've used the Aurora Phasmascape. Yep. Very cool. Very cool. I like it. Oh, and they've got a little bathroom here too. Oh, look, I, you know, here's a good idea. They've just used this, um, the Glade, uh, I guess this is the Glade Cartoneer. And um, they put the wall shelf thingy with the shirts in it on top of it. That looks nice. That looks good. That is a good idea. Cute little pants hanging on the wall. Very neat. And look at that otter otter lantern. That is so cute. Beautiful. Let's look at their bathroom. I love it. This looks so nice. So nice. Very serene. Nice bathroom. Oh, look at they used that weird, the weird altar thingy to make a toilet. <laughs> it's got a, it's got a snake. It's got a snake. It's a toilet snake. I would not sit on this toilet, but you know, it's a good thing um, that people in Aorzu don't need to poop because yeah, snakes in the toilet. Danger. <laughs> I sense danger. <laughs> You like seeing people use their whole house to decorate and not just major glitch things. Yes. They lose like the whole downstairs of their home or something. Oh good. I'm so glad. You're welcome. Oh and look the butts bot got you. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you for the nice words. It inspires me to continue having uh, having the show go on. The show must go on. This is so cute. Love it. Yeah, I like to see people use their whole home. Are you 90 on the No, what are you? I'm 88, finally. 88, yes. <laughs> I'm going to try to get to 90 tomorrow, but I don't know if I'll make it. All right, so this was a really cute house. I am loving it. Wait, did they have a guest book? I didn't see one. Let me check again. Oh, Shadow Princess, I'm glad that you're enjoying it. I'm so glad that you are all here. <laughs> the butt spot. I have an artist working on um, making emotes for my channel. So the ones that I have right now are just temporary, but you know, I hope that you'll enjoy them. You can't even log in still. Oh my gosh, you're still in the queue. You poor thing. I, well, there is a guest book. I really hope that they get the servers straightened out. How many butt emotes? I don't have any butt emotes, but you know, I could ask them. I have, um, I have 
you know, chocobo, and I have me eating popcorn. I've got a scree. I've got a Drex's mom. I've got this little Namazu who's very suspicious. I've got one that's my husband that my husband drew. Um, the little Chihuahua one. My husband drew that one. And um, then there's this little scree that's like a WTF, and then a, some Moogles and a Tonberry. Those are all of the emotes that I've got right now. But um, I'm getting close. I think I need four more subscriptions and then I can unlock some more emote slots. So hopefully that'll happen before the holidays and I'll have some more emote slots and then I will be able to pay my artist friend a little more money and she can make me some more emotes. But she's working on some now. So we'll see what she comes up with. Cute house, let's sign their guest book. This house is adorable. This house is absolutely gorgeous. That downstairs just blew me away. Love it. Live streamed my visit at twitch.tv. <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. For slash Katniss Ever Greens. Come join us. Become one of us. Become a kitten. Become one of my kittens. My house kittens. <laughs> Scree. <laughs> um, I think so, yes. I, I think that's how that works. Uh it is. It's 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 my name is the prefix, the catmus with just one S and then Scree. As long as the as long as the capitalization is correct, it should do it. Oh, you did Lahi. Okay. Oh, it's wrong one. I bet to do that. I knew people would like that. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Lahi. Bless that man. I hope he lives a long time. I hope that his cancer stays in remission. I was just so... I was so broken up when I heard that. <laughs> that is a great channel point redeem. And we'll also use it whenever we go into a house where it's playing. If they're playing Lahi, we'll do it. Alright, so we gotta look at these little houses down this way. Uh, we got... 57 here. So we didn't go in here yet. Zero's Cottage, did we go in here? We did. We did go in Zero's Cottage. So we got to go down this way. Along this way. Oh, and if you go back and watch the VOD of this, uh, this broadcast, at the beginning, I showed a video of my real-life Christmas tree with all of my needle felted Final Fantasy minions on it. So you can go back and look at that later and see my Christmas tree. So here we are. And this is Fed's Cabin. This is plot 56 and it says, Welcome to Fed's Cabin. Bow to the Fed wall before going downstairs or Namazus will throw fish at you. Oh God. Well, we don't want Namazus to throw fish at us. So, you know. We'll do whatever they say. Let's see here. Let's take a look at their yard. They've got their uh, their icing coated trees out. And some snow on the ground. She leaves footprints. I wonder if the snow is actually cake icing also. Because that's what's on the trees. It says so when you look at their flavor text. <laughs> There's very little snow that actually happens in this part of Eorzea. Okay, well, let's see what's going on here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, okay. So here's the Namazus that we were warned about. These are the Namazus that we were warned about. Here they are.
I'm... There's the fed wall. It says fed. <laughs> Oops. Okay, so we have to... We have to bow to it. Or the Namazes will throw fish at us. So we'll do it. We'll do what they say. There we go. We've bowed to the fed wall, just in case anybody's watching. So now we can go down. <laughs> I love the music in here. This is the moon music. Oh, they got the, mu the music from the moon. I hope that's not a spoiler for anyone. Oh, good idea. I'll take a drink. All right. Lots of pretty pictures in their hall. These are, yeah, these are the, the factory floors. Yep. Factory loft. It's a factory loft. And factory stairs. Oh, and look, they built this. Oh my gosh. I've been wanting to see one of these. Here we go. I am working on building one of these. I'm, I've been collecting the stuff to make it. It's the new um, indoor fountain. Isn't that a nice item? I love it. It's got plants and everything. And you don't have to, you don't have to like go crazy and use tons of items to make it. And it's got, you know, like a little, uh, little rocks here. Um, very nice. I can make this item. Um, if you want one, I just have to, I'm gathering the items now to make this one. So if you want one, hit me up. You can bring me mats and I'll make it for you if you don't have a crafter that can do it. Oh, and they've got the little, this little item. I'm wondering if that's, um, I think that probably is something that you can buy for from the gemstone trader on the moon, but I'm not sure yet because I haven't unlocked, um, I haven't done enough fates on the moon. I have I think I've only done like two. <laughs> so we'll take a look at that we'll figure that out this is so cute what a nice house and they didn't glitch it out it's not crazy it's just a nice Final Fantasy house you know and it's like I live in a log house so the upstairs of the house down we're in the basement which is like turned into a little apartment. Um, and uh, <laughs> they've got these beautiful log walls here. But this is what the upstairs of our house kind of looks like. <laughs> Everyone's got some hype for, for Estinian too. <laughs> I love that chair. I love the Paisa swing chair. I was so stoked when they put that into it. It's a nice item. We got one more room here. I'll go take a look. Oh, wow. Look at this room. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to jump up on this table first so that we can look at the other side. They use the Ruby C Phasmascape and slanted skylights and wood slat partitions. And look at that. I like that. That's clever. That's super cool. I like that a lot idea is stolen it's mine now <laughs> that does look amazing doesn't it <laughs> Amerik and a couple butterflies this is just a cute little house I love it really nicely done oh look there's their guest book right there <laughs> yeah Amerik's watching you sleep <laughs> all right I love this house. I love this. The bedroom is amazing. Love that window design. We bowed at the bed wall. Live streamed my visit at Twitch. TV for slash cat miss evergreens nice 
All right, cool. So we have a few more houses to visit. We've got about 17 minutes left. We can make it. <laughs> yeah, the music in here is rocking. <laughs> Amy can watch me sleep anytime, but the butt spot says Amy can butt me butt anytime. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> oh, the butt spot is endlessly entertaining. Oh my goodness. All right. Let's head on out to the next house. This house was awesome. Oh, look, they've got the little warning sign from uh, Labyrinthos. That's, I think that's also a gemstone item. Gemstone trader item. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> I love this house. These folks were very creative. All right. So let's see. So we are here, we've got 55, 54, 53, 52. So we've got these four houses right here to look at. So we have four more houses to visit. So we're gonna do it. We can do it. There have been so many nice houses out here in the goblet, in this subdivision. Seriously, um, the last stream, episode two, um, when we first started out here is just slap full of amazing houses and so is this one <laughs> so this is clover corner the owner is ventrice carpathian and there's no greeting but we'll go take a look is it okay for the gemstone trader do you unlock more items by leveling up your shared fate rank yes yes um you have to do i think i think it's like at 10 uh, fates in the zone you get more items unlocked and then I'm not sure what the other cut points are but yeah to get all of the items unlocked you have to do all 30 of the fates did I finish all of the lavender beds oh no no I've only done two wards of the lavender beds we're, we're just now starting on nope oh my gosh it's gonna take me years to finish just this server if I go to every house and every ward <laughs> So yeah, no, we, we're we going to go to Lavender Beds 3, um, should be our next stream. Or actually, we're going to go to Mist first. We're going to go to La uh, Mist 3, that's next, and then we'll go on to Lavender Beds and Shiragani. And, you know, we're going to have a new housing district soon, so we're going to have to start adding that into the rotation too. Um, we're going to be on Midgard's Armor for a very long time. I hope I live a long time. <laughs> That's my hope. This yard is super cute. Check it out. They've got the bright red brick garden wall with the little red roses in it and this nice red bench and uh, umbrella. They've dyed their house walls red. Little brick circle. Dyed their gazebo red. I'm liking this theme. I like the color scheme. This is nice. Oh no, I just started labeling the episodes. So this is episode three, but we've done a lot more. Um, <laughs> we've done a lot more than three episodes. I'm just keeping track of them now. I'm keeping track of them in a spreadsheet so that I uh, will know where I've been. Um, because it's, it's like the number of videos that I have now has gotten very out of control. <laughs> so I'm just trying to keep it under control. It's a fruitless venture, I know, but you know. Little red deck. I love the little parkside tree. That's very cute. This item is adorable as well. Check it out. The otter otter bench. Look how adorable this is. And at night, these little lanterns light up. Oh no, it's fine. I, I explained I explained the other day, but you weren't here. So yeah, we're just starting off at, you know, started off at one because I wasn't really sure where to start other than at one. So that's what we did. <laughs> cute yard, really cute yard. I like the way they did their outside. It looks pretty. These are the half timbered walls. Nice yard. If you like this bench, then you should see my otter bench. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's fantastic. I love this little item too, the little water lilies. They're so pretty. All right, let's go on inside. 
I bet this yard looks nice at night. It's got a lot of little elements that have lighting on them. So it probably is very, um, <clears throat> looks very cozy. I'm losing my voice. <coughs> uh, let me get a drink. <clears throat> I have allergies and they're really bad today for some reason. Mm. Okay, let's go on and check out this house. We have, we can make it. We can do the next three houses after this in 12 minutes. We're going to have to go. Yeah, it might have been really bad this year. I'm not sure what's going on. This is cute. They've made use of all of their space. I like the mason work walls. And I love the windows that you get with the half timbered walls. They're really beautiful. They look nice on the inside. Look at their otter otter lamp. And look, they've got their little chef's playset. They have a lot of nice items in their home that they have probably crafted or gathered over time. Nice fish tank. This is cute. Little seating area by the fire. There's that giant vase again. Little Moogle rug. I like their entryway. Look how nice that is. Catfish and everything. <laughs> they got a lot of catfish around. Oh my goodness. Go upstairs first. Oh, this upstairs. Look how nice this is. I love this item. And I need to put one of these in my house. It's just my cat. You know, my little cat tree. So I can climb on it and curl up on it. <laughs> this is very pretty. Indoor pond. Nice lamps. Little Moogle seating area with the mosquito Moogle and the Moogle table and the Moogle couches and a Moogle mo the modern Mog seat. This looks nice. Look at oh my gosh! Look at this. <laughs> it's a Mikote chair. Yes, that's right. Very good. Look at this. Look at these bunnies. Oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at them. Every color of the rainbow. Aren't they cute? That's adorable. <laughs> nice. Nice upstairs. I like it. It's very colorful. Very colorful. The clock is ticking. The clock is ticking. It's reminding me that the clock is ticking. Okay, we gotta go downstairs. Because we still have three more houses to visit. Got a little, oh, it's actually, oh yeah, it's the wall thing. And you can put it on the wall there. Wow, look at this down here. <clears throat> they got brick floor. They got brick walls. They got Christmas happening. Look at this. They got, and they got Halloween too. Love it. Senior Sabotender will serve you a drink. <laughs> awesome. I've seen people do some really cool things with this uh, miniature gold saucer. This is amazing. It's like, you know, the gold saucer at Christmas. Very cool. Very cool. So much cute holiday food. Look at this. Look at this up here. I'm going to jump up on the table so that we can look at this more closely. We got the little pumpkin with the bat coming out of the top. We got whatever this is. I think this is like hot chocolate with little. Uh, there's like a. Look at. There's one that's a Batman symbol. Did you see that? It's the Batman. I got to get closer. It's the Batman symbol. <laughs> Very cute. Oh my goodness. All right. Starlight log cake. Your little Yule log with little snowman on it. They don't have the terrifying beef stew, I don't think. Lots of other food. Very nice. Nice job down here. This is cool. I love your little, their little gold saucer. 
This is like, you know, this is like the buffet. That's what this is. This is the casino and buffet. Very nice. I have to go find their guest book. I think it's up here. I remember seeing it. All right, we gotta hurry up. <laughs> so we can get to the other three houses. I'm the first person to leave a message. First. I love your casino and buffet downstairs. Amazing. I live streamed my visit at Twitch. TV forward slash Katniss Evergreens. Come check out the channel. Nice. I was the first to leave a message for them. All right. Awesome. Beautiful house. Very cool. Very cool idea. I like that downstairs. All right. So we've got to get to... 54, 53, and 52. So these three houses right here, all on this little street. So we're gonna go here first. This is the Bookmark Cafe. The owner is Kara Swiftmend and it is under construction. It's a cafe, a library, and a designer home. So we'll go take a look and see what's happening. It's like a quick jaunt around their yard. We can't spend a whole lot of time, sadly. Nice yard. They have a nice plot. They're like right on the edge here. Nice view. Look at that. I went jump up here. Oh, they have a nice view. All right, in we go. Let's see what's happening in this house. It says it's under construction. We'll keep that in mind as we go looking around. All right. There's a lot going on here. This Ananta lady is like right there when you come in. I like it. This looks great. The row lady at the door. I like their little kitchen. Oh, I like the way they they have the stove here, but they put the little, you know, the steaming industrial wall pipe there um, on the wall next to it. That works. Oh, and they use the factory door there to make it look like a modern loft. M modern industrial. Cool. Let's go check out their downstairs. Yes, that cute cat lady is cute. Cute cat lady is cute. There's the lofts at the bottom. I like this. I like the way they did their, um, they made a nice little hallway in their stairwell awesome nice job oh this looks so good beautiful this is really cool no glitching going on here except you know i mean the place from storage thing to put those on the wall all those that's the actual wall they didn't have to do place from storage they can just put them there because it's not on a partition no glitching yeah, this is really nice. That's just an open partition. Two open partitions placed there and a marble partition there. Open partitions around the fish tank with uh, the little wall planters to fill in the gap. It looks good. I like that they use the cask rack there. That looks good. Oh, and there's a loft up there with the little factory thing, the factory grate. This is nice. Uh, this is where the things are still under construction. They're not quite done. They have got a great start on this, though. This is really looking good. I'll have to come back. Um, look at this little library room. Oh, my gosh. I love it. Really cool nice <laughs> I like it I'll be interested to see how they finish this up what a nice start no glitching no glitching 
You don't have to glitch. You can if you want to and you got the time and you're good at it. But if you're not good at it, you can still decorate an awesome house. You know, I've seen people be like, you know, feel um, discouraged when they see those houses and they know that what it, it takes is like really difficult. Um, but you don't have to do that to have a really nice house. It doesn't have to be that way. Everyone can decorate a nice house. I don't see a guest book. So we're going to move on. Yep, I've used the storage glitch. I've done all of the glitches. Um, I've tried them all, you know, and I've used some of them. Um, but I, except for, I have never floated anything from the basement up through to the, uh, to the next room. I have not done that. I don't do that. I only have a cottage and I don't like to waste my space, <laughs> you know, because I only have the two little floors to work with. All right, so we need to go to 52 and 53, which I think we can go down this way to get to them. So one of them is this little plot right here. It's Real's Villa, Real's Villa. Um, the owner is Mead Erwin, and there is nothing like staying at home for real comfort. Oh boy. So let's go see what it's like in here. Oh, well, we're gonna be really close to our 10 o'clock stop. Um, I'm gonna, of course, gonna go to the next two houses. My book reading room is amazing, Kat. If you have a second after these tours, uh, the, when, the one in the free company house, or is that the one you're talking about? Or the one in my, in my personal house? I'm going to go to my personal house afterwards always, but I can go whichever one. The department store Santa. <laughs> oh, my personal house. Yeah, I'll take you to my personal house afterwards. All right, let's take a quick look at this house, and then we have one more to visit. This is just a cute little house. Just a cute little house. There's Hildebrand and Nashua, everyone's favorite dynamic duo. The one with the rocking chair. Oh, guess what? I changed my house. You haven't seen my new... I tore it apart. I tore it apart and redecorated. I'll show you my house after we're done here. Oh, and you might be talking about my free company house. I know where you're talking about. Yep, yep. You're talking about the thing under the stairs with the fireplace. Yep, I can take you there. This is just a cute little house. They didn't do anything crazy in here. They just have all their favorite things. All right, we got to go. I have not torn that apart yet. That's the free company house, the one you're talking about. Um, so that is still there. Um, and we'll go. Yeah, this house is a house that people live in. <laughs> so we will go to look at that. But I'll take you to my own house too, really quick. So we have one more house to visit here. We need to go to 52, which is right up here. I believe it is this house right up here. And this is the last house in this uh, in Goblet 3. We've seen every house. Private Estate 352, the owner is Clyde Elric. Welcome to Daenerys and Clyde Elric's home. Enjoy your stay and always hug Eddie the Namazu. I wonder if um, the Namazu will throw fish at us if we don't um, hug him. <laughs> I'm a little worried now. It's an otter otter house. This is so cute. I love that blue. That must be that dragoon blue. It's so bright. So bright, so eye-catching. All right, in we go. Cute house. I love the floor. They've just... Oh, look. They used this desk and put their little short retainer guys behind it. The, the vendors. Oh, and that crazy thing. Do you hear it? It does this all day long all day every day 
It's maddening. Cute house. Let's check out their downstairs. I would go crazy too. I can't use that item. Oh, look at their cool fish. Look at that thing. What is that? Its face looks like... It's like got like a bone face. <laughs> what on earth? That is a nutty looking fish. This is a nice room down here. This looks nice. Just a nice little classy library. That looks really good. I like it. And here's their bedroom and bathroom. Got that giant bed in here. Cool little shower. All right. So we have seen every house in the goblet, Ward 3. Every house that's open to the public we have visited now in the last two episodes. Oh, actually three. It was three episodes. It took three episodes to see all of the houses here. We did not get to go to the apartment building. We will do that next time. So first I will take you to my free company house and I'll show you the little room that he's talking about. So this is our free company house. My husband decorated the yard. Um, except for I put up the Christmas tree. I picked up my little shishio doshi that I usually have in that corner and um, just put the Christmas tree in. I have not decorated the inside of this house for the holidays yet because I've been so busy with school that I just haven't had a chance. So I will be doing that this week. Um, I'll be I'm actually going to redecorate this downstairs so it's good that we're going to look at it now because it'll be it'll be different. Oh, hey, there's somebody in our house running around, checking it out. <laughs> I don't know who that was. They ran by. <laughs> so this is the little, this is the little reading area that he was talking about. It's just, you know, like underneath the loft with the little doll shelf and the little toys and the, um, you know, fireplace and the rocking chair. This is my little kitchen. I made a little um, elevated place to have dinner. That's my husband's dinner and this is mine because I need to lose weight. <laughs> Just a cute little kitchen. And, you know, I'm going to like, I like my little door. It looks cute in the daylight. Oh, the blue walls. That was my personal house. Um, but it's different now. I'll take you to my personal house because I'm going to go there to, um, to end the stream anyways. This is my house. This is in Mist 14. It's plot 11. If you want to come by and take a look, you're welcome to. But I just... Fixed up my yard the other day. I've got my katamatsu up inside the gazebo. And I just put this little great pergola and deck up. I've got my little white trees and Christmas tree up. I got some of these gulg planters the other day. I've turned this into a cafe. So it's a cafe inside now. For the holidays. It's a, you know, the holiday cafe. Whoops, let me see here. It looks like really cute in the daylight. There's another little booth over on that side. I got myself the Google library lamps. Yes, it's very intense. Thunder rolls. <laughs> I just love this song, though. And here's my Christmas tree in the corner. I use the little um, meadow rug for the for the Christmas tree skirt. 
these little toys back there for the kids. So I used the rustic chocobo counter and the verdant shelf partition to make this little, little counter area. And just have some stuff back here. I hit my item cap. So I can't do anything else in here. This is the cafe part. And then downstairs is the living quarters. I should do more in here, but I don't have any more item budget. <laughs> I can fix that though, with some of the stuff that they're gonna put in. So I use my pictures on the wall, Sid looking intense. And my little downstairs. Just a little place to sit there in the corner. And here's the little pink and yellow. <laughs> pink and yellow uh, d little just place to sit. And the little library over there in the corner. And that's not a real window, it's a fake window. There's a little bed. And this is my bathroom, I love the bathroom. This is my favorite part of the whole house. I thought this came out really cool. It's just very minimalist and I wanna, after the holidays I'm gonna redo this house and I'm gonna redo it very minimalist. There's my downstairs. <laughs> well, thanks. And um, you haven't seen the, you haven't seen the, you know, we have to go see the department store Santa. And then I'll have to end. <laughs> we'll go see the department store Santa though. My free company room in our free company house is, um, is a department store Santa. It's the Miss Department Store. So you can come, this is Mist Ward 7, Plot 6, and my room is room number 2. If you want to come and take a screenshot with Santa Claus, with the Saint of Nymea, actually, the Saint of Nymea, um, you can come and do that in our house. Because I made a department store Santa in my free company room. <laughs> and it's so cute. <laughs> There's a little, here's your like clothing part of the store and I've got little changing rooms. There's just, you know, a little, a little stool in here, place to sit so you can change your clothes. Two of them, little dress mannequin there. This little girl here will tell you when you're allowed to go see Santa Claus and you had better not skip in line because she's a Lollafell and she will assert her dominance. Then here's the two other little Lollafells. We got, you know, the one little guy on the side there, and we got little reindeer girl over here. And there's the saint himself up on the up on the thing. And you can sit on the throne next to him and take your screenshots. And, you know, we just got, you know, the toy department over here. And we got the cafe where you can get your Starbucks. She'll sell you some coffee and some pastries, some bread. So yeah, this is my department store Santa. So feel free to come take your screenshots up there with the saint and with the little Lollafells. <laughs> I had so much fun doing this. This was just, you know, I think I spent like two days on it. <laughs> it was fun. Anyways. I want to thank you all for coming tonight. Thank you so much um, for hanging out with me and for uh, being nerdy about housing with me. <laughs> oh, you did. That's right. I saw that. You did. I envision people like taking screenshots and sending them to their families as Christmas cards and their families being like, what is this? <laughs> it's me, mom. Can't you tell? 
anyways i want to thank you all for coming um and i hope that i will see you again soon i am not going to stream tomorrow morning i may uh get be on tomorrow evening but i am going to actually probably just take the day off and be back on sunday on sunday evening um, for the regular stream so i'm going to change my schedule to take tomorrow off because i just need a day off my son ain't no cat girl <laughs> final fantasy xiv christmas card recipient <laughs> oh my goodness that's so funny because my husband plays a cat girl <laughs> and he's a very cute cat girl too really cute she's like the cutest cat girl ever anyways i want to thank you all again thank you so much and I hope that you all have a good night. Take your meds, drink your water, get some sleep, and get some good rest, and have a lovely, lovely night. Um, and I will see you next time. Bye, everyone. Thanks for coming. At any rate, I'm at a point where I've only got two items left to upgrade anyway. I just need the tombstone hat and gloves, and then I'll be max eye level, so. Still haven't completed MSQ. Oh, wow. Yeah, I've been done for a while, but I played uh, pretty intensely to get through it. <laughs> Crafting grind is easier with gear. Well, crafting gear, yeah, but like I'm talking about combat gear, which won't help you with crafting. So. How's it going, Cadmus? Never greens. For my friends to see you, hope you're having a good day. I am having a great day. How about yourself? I do need to choose what to do next, though. Just... That was weird. Wait, tab down, click down. Oh, I'll minimize my Discord. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for dumping my friends in your channel, I see. Oh, welcome.
should probably knock out the roulettes and just get these last pieces of gear while I'm thinking about it. It won't even take long. I've been putting it off as if it's some, like, big painful thing. I could have all the tombstones I need in, like, an hour. It'll take no time. Ah, <laughs> yes, magic is small. When's the next one coming out? I wonder. Alright, which one of these is gonna give me? Ooh, 60, 70, 80 is looking pretty prime. Try and see what we get. It might give me a spoiler dungeon if anybody here is not done with MSQ. <laughs> I don't know what it's gonna give me. Oh, wait, no, it's 80 dungeons, so no, it shouldn't. I feel like I've gotten one of the Endwalker dungeons off this roulette before, but I don't know. When is the next one coming out? Uh, nobody knows. Uh, the only correct answer is eventually. Ah, oh, man. I gotta adapt to a, a sad, sad world where I don't have expedience. I can't make the pulls go faster. I just have to heal this poor tank, the old fashioned shadow. Bringer's way. 